Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 8.13 a.m. I just looked outside and Hydrox is still laying on the patio chair. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is like boo all over again. Right now it's about 50 degrees out. Hydrox looks very comfy. He does have the blue towel to lay on, but I don't think he wants it because maybe it smells like boo. So either today or tomorrow I'm going to try to collect all the outside towels. Most of them are in the garage and uh, put them through the laundry so they don't smell like boo anymore. But look, there's Hydrox. He's been there all night. All night and most of the day yesterday. And here's boo. Hello, boo. Hello, Boo. Boo, are you hungry? You hungry? Want some food? Boo is having his standard breakfast, which is the Nature's Variety Instinct raw chicken bites with some fresh cat grass, uh, his herbal formulas, the tinctures that he is on, and water. So Boo has his food. He has fresh water. And Boo was on free roam all night and uh, he played for a little while and then when I went to bed Boo jumped on the bed and he slept on the bed all night. Boo loves sleeping on the bed, right? This is Hydrox's food. He's getting the same exact thing as Boo except Hydrox is only getting half of the raw food and half of the canned food. Uh, just because I don't see him eating the raw food when I give it to him all the time. I'm not going to waste it. Um, he's getting all the herbs. He's getting a little bit of wheatgrass. And he's getting some water. I'm going to put this outside for him. And uh, let's see what happens. He has been on the full dosage of the herbs for the uh, past several days. And that could be affecting his behavior. It is the multi-essentials, the phelim, and the BK detox. What these herbs are going to do is they are going to help detoxify his lymphatic system. They're going to help move the lymph in his body. They're also going to help alkalize his system. And what that is going to do, when you go from an extremely acidic state to a less acidic state to an alkaline state, it makes the body more flexible. It removes a lot of the aches and pains. It removes stiffness. It provides an overall feeling of better well-being. Hydrox could be experiencing um, quite a few of these symptoms. Again, we don't know, but that could be why he's making himself comfortable on the chairs um, and hanging around by the back door more. Oh my gosh, you guys just missed it. I opened the door to downstairs and all three cats came storming up the steps like a stampede. I just put Hydrox's food under the table and there's Hydrox sitting on the chair. He looks like he's too comfy to move, but I think once I go inside, he'll move. I don't want to approach him because I don't want to freak him out. I want him to feel safe on the patio. Okay, Hydrox just got off of his chair and he's going over to eat. He's actually going over the dry food because he probably didn't even get up off the chair all morning when the feeder went off. So he's going to eat his dry food and then he'll eat his other food. These outside cats really like the dry food, I guess just because they're used to the feeder. The feeder provides them a consistent meal at the same time every day. So they probably come to rely on it, and as they come to rely on it, they really come to enjoy the food, which is why Boo probably loves his dry food so much. And I don't feed it to him until after he's eaten all of his raw food first. Then I give him the dry food as if it's a treat and I portion it out in one tablespoon servings. Stella keeps rubbing up against me. She's saying, where's my food? What about me? And Simba's saying the same thing, right? Right, Simba? You guys want, you guys want some cat grass? You want some cat grass? Simba, you want some cat grass? You want some grass?
I'm getting better at taking care of this cat grass. So what I've been doing is every few days at night, um, I run water through it and then I just leave it in the sink because obviously the water is going to drip out the bottom of it. Then in the morning I put it back on the windowsill and I've been trimming it off the top, which I think it likes because that's how you trim grass, right? Like when you mow your lawn, you trim it off the top. And I've also been keeping it in a different window. This window does not get direct sunlight. Um, before I was keeping it in the window that got direct sun, like a window on the south side of the house. And um, now uh, it's in a different window and I think it likes it better. And uh, garbage trucks are outside, so the cats never like that noise. Look at this. Look at this. Sim is in love with this cat grass. He wants to lay down and make himself comfortable next to it. Here in Perth. Did you like that, Simba? Simba, did you like that? Did you like that? So Simba just told me that Stella is the queen, Boo is the king, and Simba and Splash are the princes. Right, Simba? It's Prince, Prince Simba? You want to be called Prince Simba? Right? Prince Simba and Prince Splash. Okay, so here's their meal. They're getting their food. They're also getting a little bit of cat grass on here and they're getting herbs. Not as much as a Boo and Hydrox, but they're getting a little bit. So the way that I've been feeding these cats is that I give them their wet food. I give them the serving size of wet food for a 10 pound cat. Now, all of these cats are slightly more than 10 pounds. So what that does is it allows me to then also give them dry food. So a few hours after they eat their wet food, um, instead of giving them treats, what I've been doing is then giving them like a tablespoon each of dry food. And uh, they've really been liking that because they eat all their wet food and then they eat their dry food. And then sometimes after they've eaten all the dry food, um, maybe a few hours after that, I might give them a little bit more of dry food. There's some people that say you should only feed your cats their meals like once in the morning, once in the evening. Give them a half hour to eat the meal and then take the food away. And I don't know, that just never sat right with me just because that's not how cats eat in nature. When these cats were living outside, and I was watching them. In the morning, maybe Stella caught a bird and they would all eat the bird. But throughout the rest of the day, they enjoyed eating bugs. And, you know, they love to eat crickets. Um, they like to eat spiders. Um, so in my mind, the dry food is like feeding them bugs. And the wet food is like giving them a mouse or a bird. I mean, in this case, it literally is giving them a bird because they're eating chicken. But when we think of a feral cat in the wild, they're going to be hunting mice and birds. Those are going to be their big meals. That's going to be their wet food. And in between um, big meals, they're going to eat bugs and they're going to eat grass. So that's why I'm thinking 
the way that I've been feeding them has been going really well um, for me and for the cats because they seem to be really happy with it. Um, they're hungry when mealtime comes around, so they eat their wet food. And then when I give them the dry food, they eat all of that also. And they're kind of happy not combining the two. Those are just my musings on um, this uh, feline experimentation. Again, with cats, it's always um, good to observe and experiment. I think if more people just spent time observing and watching and, uh, you know, tweaking um, how they interact with cats and um, how the cats respond with their behaviors, we would be so much more advanced in just overall knowledge about cats and our interactions with them. 8.50 a.m. Look at this. Splashes in the window above the cat tower. What I think I am going to do either today or tomorrow is move the old cat tower upstairs into Boo's room and see if he'll use it because it is um, much slimmer than the new one. And then the cats will have no choice but to use this new one. Now, if that doesn't work, then what I'm going to do is I am going to rub catnip all over it because um, I know the old one came infused with catnip, whatever that means. And um, it didn't say anything about catnip on this new one, so that's something else that I could do. Right, Stella? You want me to put catnip on it? You want catnip on the new cat tree, Stella? Well, she wants catnip in her toy, that's for sure. It's 10.07. Hydrox ate some of his food and left some of his food. I can't tell if he ate the raw or the canned. It's 10.10 10 a.m. I'm making myself a cup of juice and Stella has decided that she wants to come into the kitchen, say hello to me, and sprawl out on the floor. Hello, Stella. She's probably really happy uh, that they're upstairs right now uh, because for the past few mornings um, I've been keeping them downstairs for a while and then I let them up a little bit later when I'm leaving so they could um, have the house when Boo's in his room. But this morning, because Boo was roaming all night, Boo is in his room and the cats have free roam and they love eating their breakfast and then looking out the windows. So I know Stella is super happy right now and she's just saying thank you so much for letting us look out the windows. Right, Fluffy Stella? It is 10.49 a.m. Hydrox is back on the chair. 10.56 a.m. Hydrox is still in the chair. Look at how he's laying. There might be some reflections on the window, but look. Look how he's laying. He's just all comfy. With his paws all sprawled out. Okay, so it looks like Hydrox ate pretty much most of the canned food, left most of the raw food. And there's Hydrox. Hey, Hydrox. I just came outside to throw out some garbage and get the garbage cans, and um, he got off his chair. Hydrox, you want to play? Hydrox, you want to play? See? See what he does? He walks away. Now I have to say there's a lot of noise going on right now. I hear landscapers to the east of me and I also hear landscapers to the southwest of me. I have no idea where Hydrox just went. Um, he walked over toward the front yard area but I'm just gonna refill the water. It is 12.20 p.m. Who is laying under his arch? I'm getting ready to leave for a little while. I have to run a few errands and then get to my office. And Boo is just about to start his live stream. Right, Boo? You're just about to start your live stream. Yeah, Boo's gonna hang out with all his friends today. All of Boo's friends are gonna hang out with him this afternoon.
Look how he loves these arches. He doesn't even care about being brushed anymore. He just wants arches. Arches and dry food. He gets two tablespoons of dry food uh, in the morning and he's been getting two tablespoons at night. Two tablespoons is about an eighth of a cup, I believe. Right, Boo? Look how pretty you look near your arches, Boo. Yep, he loves his arches. Let's take a look at the cats on the wall in Boo's room. So we have Sheba, we have Huff and Fluff, we have Katutis, we have Tarbell, and we have another photo of Sheba. These are all Boo's friends. It is 6.40 p.m. I just got home to feed the cats, and I looked outside for Hydrox. I don't see him anywhere. Half of the food from earlier today is still on his plate, and there's still some dry food in the feeder. So if he wants to eat anything, there's food out there for him. Um, right now, I am going to give the cats their dinner. Do you see a bug, Simba? You see something. He's looking for something. They're getting their food, uh, they're getting their turkey nuggets and their chicken bites and they're getting some green grass powder and some water. It is 6.57 p.m. right now. I think Boo just ate his dinner. I just gave him dinner. He's on free roam right now. So the other three cats are downstairs and I am going out for a while. And this is going to be the first time that I leave Boo on free roam while I'm out. So hopefully he's not going to get himself into any kind of trouble. I mean, normally he doesn't. Um, but normally when he's on free roam, I'm always here. Um, so yeah, this is going to be interesting. All right, Boo? Oh, he's afraid. He's afraid of the keys. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything... I mean, I tried to cat proof things right now um you know make sure there's nothing bad that he could get into oh look at this he wants to play with the keys you want to play with the keys boo you want to play with the keys It is 9.35 p.m. It feels like it's a lot later than 9.35 p.m. But it's only 9.35 p.m. And uh, I just got back, so I am playing with Boo for a little while. He loves a scratch and roll, and he loves this wiggly toy. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put the undercover mouse on for him. I'll play with him this way for like a couple minutes, and I'm going to put the mouse on. Come on, boo. He sits on the scratch and roll and uh, he gets ready to pounce on the mouse. It is like 9.45 p.m. I'm trying to walk downstairs because I heard a weird noise. 
and um, yeah, someone's blocking my way. Simba, I'd like to walk downstairs. Can I walk downstairs, Simba? Simba, can I walk downstairs? You're going to have to make some room for me. Okay? Doesn't even move. Splash, did you guys hear that noise? What was that noise? What was it? Stella, did you hear that noise? What was that weird noise? So I thought you might like to see the before and after with these boxes. This box is the same exact box as this box, except this box was upstairs. Um, it was in Boo's room for a little while, then it was in the living room for a little while. And this box was downstairs. And Stella has decided that this one is her box. And they've totally teared all the edges off of it. I mean, look all around. There's cardboard everywhere. I need to uh, clean this up tonight or maybe tomorrow. All right, Stella? You guys love that box. She loves that box. So I just put this new one down here. What do you think? Are they going to switch to the new one and start tearing this one to shreds? Or are they going to stay with the old one? It is 11 p.m. And Boo's been laying here by the scratch and roll. I guess he got tired of playing. I was playing with him for a while. But because it's 11 p.m., it's time to put Boo to bed. So I'm going to give him a little bit of dry food because that will get him back in his room. And I'll shut him into his room and then Stella, Splash, and Simba will be able to roam the house because tonight is Stella's night to sleep on the bed. All of a sudden it's 11.30. I don't know where a half hour went, but I finished tonight's video. I just finished editing it and it's uploading as I'm filming this. And I gave Boo another tablespoon of his dry food uh, to get him in the room. I am going to put a little night light on for him, shut the door, and then he's done for the night. 11.52 p.m. Simba loves laying on these chairs now that those quilted mats are on them. Simba has moved over to the small cat tower because he wanted to look out the window. Oh. But he's going back to the chair. Splash has been at Boo's door. Now Simba's at Boo's door. I should take away that draft dodger so they could get a better smell of each other from underneath the door. But I know if I go there right now, Splash will run away. See, Splash is not afraid of other cats. Splash is only afraid of humans. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Seven forty three AM. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Splash. Stella slept on the bed all night. Time for their morning greens. Okay, the cats are starting their day with the nature's variety raw bites and their wheatgrass and some herbs. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. How are you today, boo? 
Boo's breakfast. Okay, so I'm saying hello to Boo, and I said, Boo, you want me to brush you a little bit? I took out the brush. He went straight for the arch. This is what he does. He likes the arches better. Happy boy stretches. He likes to greet first and then eat. In like two minutes, Boo ate all of his food, like all of it. I did put some of the green powder on top of his food because I didn't put any wheatgrass in it. I just put some green powder and uh, yeah, he lapped it all up. Boo has jumped onto the bed and he suddenly needs to be petted a lot. Like he can't get enough. Eight fifty four AM. Boo's on the scratch and roll. Hey Boo. He's watching the undercover mouse. Okay, I just brought some food outside for Hydrox. I put it under his table. And um, I don't see him. I don't know where he is, but he'll have food if he wants it. It does look like uh, someone might have been eating some dry food this morning. It is 1.53 p.m. I just got back and there's Hydrox hanging out on the patio chair. Looks like he's all sprawled out. Looks like he's really comfortable. So I am not gonna bother him. I did just come inside from the patio. So I was, I don't know, 10, 12 feet away from him. Um, and he didn't move, which is good. It is 2.24 p.m. It's time for mail. Simba, you ready to open up some presents? Huh? Simba, are you ready to open up some mail? I have my tripod. I have the mail. And there's Simba. Hello, Simba. Okay, let's start at the top and work our way to the bottom. Simba's gonna watch. What did I get? I got an SD card. Awesome, can never have enough SD cards. This says, love the videos, keep up the good work. Happy to see Boo inside and doing well. P.S. SD cards and hard drives can fail and will eventually. I hope you have your videos on more than one device and possibly off-site backup from Thomas. Um, yes, Thomas, I do. I have um, the videos on a few different hard drives and um, that's why I like having multiple SD cards also because yes, they can fail. So thank you very much for sending that. What do we have here, Simba? What is this? open the box. Would you like to open the box, Simba? No? No, oh, he's afraid of it. Okay, Simba. Oh, these are cool. I've never seen these in a store before. It says, hi, mother of feral. Since Boo lost his balls, I got these to replace them. Hopefully these balls fit his grass patch hunting toy so he can play with them from a Boo Life crew member. That's a great idea because yes, he has lost some of the balls from that um, grassy 
box thing and I do believe these will fit and he'll probably enjoy them much better than those ping pong eyeballs that I put in there. He really didn't like those at all. So uh, yeah, thank you for these toys. It says, keep your gift a surprise. Unwrap your present before opening this envelope. Okay. That's a pretty gift bag. I love how shiny and sparkly it is. This is a Smatri Smapole Q Series Monopod Selfie Stick. This is awesome. I saw this online, and um, this is not just a selfie stick, um, it's also a monopod, um, and it has like a tripod base that goes on the bottom of it. Um, the reason why I wanted this is because the cats are afraid of every tripod that I have because you know tripods when you put them fully up they're really big and the cats get freaked out especially Splash so I don't really use tripods as much as I would like to because of that reason even the smallest tripods that I've tried to buy um, if I want to, um, you know, use them at their full height, I can't do that. I'm lucky if I could use like a small tripod that's only like a foot tall, but then again, you're really limited in what you could shoot with that. So I thought this would be really good because it doesn't like open like a tripod. It's just like a monopod. So it's just like one stick. So uh, I am really eager to try this. Um, it's also supposed to work with like all different kinds of cameras. It could work with a smartphone. It could work with uh, the Canon cameras that I shoot with. It could work with uh, GoPros uh, and stuff like that. So that is awesome. It says, hi Lucky, enjoy your gift from Zach Odell. Thank you, Zach Odell. That is an awesome gift. Um, I will definitely enjoy using this and hopefully the cats um, will enjoy being filmed uh, with this. I think I might know what this one is because this one is not from Amazon. This one is from Pet Warehouse or Pets Warehouse. And there's been a lot of talk about this uh, in the comments and in the chat room. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a scratch and roll. Boo is going to be so excited to have his very own scratch and roll. So there's Stella's scratch and roll in the back. And this is the new scratch and roll. This will be Boo's scratch and roll. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take like a Sharpie or something. And then I'm going to write like initials here. So this will be like B. I'm going to write B on this one. And then that one will be S for Stella. So, um... That is so cool. This says, hi Lucky Ferals. I found you another pet stage in Scratch and Roll. Enjoy, Angela Hughes. Thank you so much, Angela Hughes. Uh, Stella is going to be so happy that she does not have to share her Scratch and Roll with Boo. Hopefully it will avoid a lot of fights also. Oh, this is cool. I've seen these before. This is the Cat Charmer. A fun for you and your cat. A safe interactive toy for all cats, kittens, and kids. You're going to love that. Stella loves any kind of warmy toys like that. I always call them warmy toys. Sim is checking it out. This is Hello Lady Lucky. I thought Boo might like this as it has space under for playing. He can perch on it. Also sending a cat dancer wand. Take care and kind regards, J-Red and Huff and Fluff. 
Thank you so much, J Red and Huff and Fluff. Uh, these are great ideas. This is the scratcher. He's gonna love it. And you know, it's it's really good timing because the cardboard scratcher that he's using now is starting to really get worn. Um, so this will be the next one that I give him. It's a four claws inclined scratching pad. And they're gonna have a great time with this cat charmer. Okay, now here's the last one. This one is pretty big. That's cool. This is a Pets Trends, I believe. It's a turbo scratcher. This is from Elsa and Pete. So Elsa and Pete, thank you guys so much um, for sending this turbo scratcher. Um, as you can see, it's not even unwrapped yet and Simba's already enjoying himself. So the cats are going to love it. So this is what the uh, selfie stick monopod looks like. Um, it basically looks like a selfie stick and uh, this can loosen up and um, you could angle, you can angle this. It did come with like a GoPro shoe on there um, and then it does extend and you can tighten it up. So that's really cool. And here on the bottom is where this little tripod piece um, screws into. So the tripod bottom screws in like this. And then it extends like this. And then there's a very compact tripod, which is basically a monopod with like a tiny tripod on the bottom um, that the cats hopefully won't be afraid of. I mean, some is pretty cool with it right now, right? So this would be the difference. So right now I've been shooting on this tripod. I mean, it's fairly low right now. We don't have it fully extended, but it's still like a big thing versus this monopod, which right now I have it set up to be the same height as the tripod, but it's much less imposing. Like it's much less threatening to a cat, you know, something big like this or something just very slim like this. I'm hoping it will be good because the cats will run away less and just be more comfortable with uh, this monopod versus the larger tripod.
Now Simba's favorite toys of all time are balls. Simba loves any kind of ball. He loves playing with balls. So the fact that this is a ball, I mean, this is like totally up Simba's alley. There's Simba. There's Stella's scratch and roll. And there's Boo's scratch and roll. B for Boo. S for Stella. How many cats do you know that have their own monogrammed cat furniture? Now, if I put the two of them together like that, do you think a cat is just going to lay across both of them? I think Stella might. Stella might just make herself comfortable in there. Simba has to inspect. Oh, he's smelling the Sharpie. Okay, I'm gonna play with Stella on the scratch and roll. Oh, she's all amped up. How are you gonna get it, Stella? How are you gonna get it? How are you gonna get under it? She's scratching on Boo's scratch and all. I guess it's a new one, so she's breaking it in. Oh my God, it's like a love seat for cats. This is a scratch and roll love seat. If there was a third one, it would be a scratch and roll sofa. And if there was a fourth one, we'd have a scratch and roll sectional. These are also like home theater seats for cats because Stella loves sitting in her scratch and roll and watching the TV. Can you imagine? It'd be like a little mini home theater. Is she gonna bust them open? Oh, no, she's busting on top of them. Is she gonna bust them open? Okay, so I want to move uh, the old cat tower, this one, upstairs into Boo's room. And um, I vacuumed it off. And I'm just about to move it up the steps. And um, did you guys see that? Stella was on top of it. She decided that it's not going anywhere. She's jumping on top of it and that's that. Well, Stella, unfortunately, you're out of luck.
Okay, now someone else has decided he's gonna hang out on top of the cat tower. I hope he doesn't jump on the wall because he's gonna land very badly. Simba, don't even think about it. It's not even a bug. Oh, silly boy. He has a Bluetooth. Okay, so I have a bag of this World's Strongest, the Cat's Meowy Premium Grade All Natural Catnip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some on this new cat tower and um, hopefully get them to use it. I mean, there's, there's quite a bit of cat fur up here, so they've been using this one. There's some cat fur around here too and down here, so they have been using it. Um, Hopefully they'll use it more. Okay, this thing is loaded with catnip. I sprinkled catnip basically on every surface of it. So Simba wasted no time on jumping up it and uh, he's proceeding to eat the catnip. It's gonna fall. So, but don't fall. Who is going to check out the cat tower? It should smell like the other cats. Is he going to jump up? Now, he had a little scratching post in here already. He has the scratching pad that he's using now, but he also had a scratching post, um, a really nice one, that I got at Petco. And he never uses it, ever, ever, ever. The only thing he scratches, really, is the scratching pad. He doesn't use any of the small cat trees that are in the living room. So, um, I'll be interested to see whether he actually uses the one that I just put in his room or not. I'm, right now I just moved one of his arches over. I don't know if I should keep them both right next to each other or move one over like this. I think Simba zonked out from the catnip. Check out Stella. She figured out the new cat tower. Check her out. I think she's had some catnip. Oh, she found the toy. I don't know how much longer that toy is going to last now that Stella found it. So Boo's hanging out with me here on the love seat. I've been petting him for a little while. He's just started to get a little overexcited. Right, Boo? You got a little overexcited, right? Right, Boo? I was petting his tummy, and I wanted to show you how fluffy he's starting to get. See him right now? He's like looking up. Don't do that, boo! Stella does the same exact thing. He's turning into Stella. You and Stella are just alike. Anyway, so I was, I was petting his tummy, 
See, he had too much on the tummy already. And I wanted to show you how fluffy his tummy is getting. His, fl his tummy is starting to get as fluffy as Simba's. Six oh six p.m. This is Hydrox's dinner. He's getting one of the raw turkey nuggets, a few of the raw bites. He's getting half of a small can of the instinct variety uh, turkey pate. He's getting herbs. He's getting water, and he was um, sitting on a patio chair. And now he's standing by that back step over there. So I'm gonna bring this out to him. Hello, Hydrox. Would you like some food? Come here. Come here. You want food? Yeah, you want food? You gonna stretch? What's the matter? Okay, I just put his food under the feeding table. So this is what I have going on here right now. I'm not really happy with how this looks, um, but for now, this is what's going on here. So um, here's the feeding table, and then this is the table that was over the stainless steel water bowl. I took the stainless steel water bowl away, and right now I just put them both like that because I figure, you know, if Hydrox is going to eat his wet food, that way he could go under there and be fully covered. He could also be covered when he eats the dry food. And then I brought out this Rubbermaid water station that I had out last year for the cats. I take it away in the summer because the water inside just gets too hot and too yucky. Um, and I'd rather just give them an open bowl of water in the summer when it's warm. But now that it's fall again, um, this protects the water from falling leaves. And um, I, I just think the water stays better this way instead of being so open. So um, there's like a white uh, tub of water inside there. And then there is the um, plastic tub outside. Now there's not a stainless steel tub in there. What I probably could do is go to like a restaurant supply place and get like one of those stainless steel uh, steam trays and maybe put that might fit in there, um, but I haven't done that yet. This is Boo's dinner. He's getting the Nature's Variety Instinct raw bites with his herbal tinctures on them. He's getting water and I'm giving him one tablespoon of the dry food on top because I feel like I didn't give him dry food today. Um, I don't know if I did at all, actually, so um, he's going to get some now. 
But was eating his food. I just turned the lights on in this room. I did not even have any lights on for him because um, I was so busy with other things downstairs. Um, so he's going to stay in this room because I don't know where Splash is. I think Splash might be hiding under the bed. He wasn't downstairs. So um, if Splash is upstairs, then Boo cannot be on free room. It is 7.58 p.m. Stella is laying on top of the new cat tower. She looks so comfortable. Splash, he just came running out of the bathroom area. I don't know what he was doing. Looks like he was eating something. And Simba just came over to me. He was on the green rug before, but now he's just saying hello to me. Hey, Simba. Basically, I'm just coming down here right now to make sure all the cats are downstairs so I can let Boo out. Boo ate all of his food except for a few crunchies. 8.04 p.m. Boo's playing with one of those little balls. Boo's claws are starting to grow back. It's been so nice uh, having the claws clipped. So um, when I take him back to get retested, I'm definitely going to have his nails clipped again. Because I don't think he's going to let me do it. There he goes. Laying on a scratch and roll. He's laying on Stella's. The one in front of him is his. Boo, you like your scratch and roll? You're laying on Stella's. That's Stella scratch and roll. Yours is the one in front of it. And there we have it. Boo lounging on both scratch and rolls at the same time. He wants to play. I have his toy. Did he get it? Where did it go, Boo? You see it? Got it. You got it, Boo. You got the ball. He pushed he just pushed them both back together. Where's the ball? Put the ball you would play with the bird. You want to play with the ball or you want to play with the bird? Look at that. He'd rather play with the ball than the bird? Really? Okay, let's go back under. I'd much rather just throw a ball under these things than have to wiggle that stick the whole time. It's just easier. Okay, it's 8.42 p.m. I heard Boo knocking his dishes around. Boo, why are you knocking your dishes around? I think he wants some dry food. Boo, you want some dry food? Want some dry food, Boo? Stella is laying in her box. In the box's new location, Simba is laying on the couch, and Splash is laying on the ottoman, in the ottoman's new location. I rearranged the furniture down here a little bit, and I was really thinking that Splash was not going to lay on the ottoman in the new location, but he is. 
the ottoman used to be like right here next to the cat tree because they like to jump off the cat tree and land on the ottoman. So I put the uh, mini trampoline down here and I figured they could jump off the cat tree onto the mini trampoline, which they might have done, that's why it could be all messed up. And I also moved the wheel back here. So right now this entire area is like their play area. Now the whole reason I'm down here right now is because I was upstairs in the living room and out of nowhere I just heard this really loud pop noise. It was like a balloon popped. And it was like a balloon popped like literally right behind my back. But there's no balloon in the house and there's nothing that would make that noise. So I thought I would come down here and see if maybe it was something down here but the cats are all just totally chill. And if it was something weird, I, I would think the cats would you know, be looking around or anything. I have no idea what it was. Unless it was this light bulb. I can't remember if I replaced this light bulb or not. Potentially it could be one of these light bulbs that blew out, but uh, I don't know. It could be this one also. No, that's still cold. Because if it if it blew out, like, a minute or two ago, it's, it would still be warm, right? 11.25 p.m. I know you can't see anything. Hydrox is still laying on the patio chair. This is like a new thing for him. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 8.45 a.m. Boo slept on the bed all night. You hungry, Boo? Today they're getting rabbit nuggets and some wheatgrass and Boo's getting his herbs. Okay, Boo, you ready to eat? There you go. Okay. So Boo is getting shut into his room for a little while because he's been free roaming since last night. And I'm gonna let the other cats up and I'm gonna give them food and I'm gonna let them like look out the windows and stuff. Boo has beautiful windows in his room that he can look out of. And after the cats eat breakfast, they like to relax and look out the windows for a while. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Splash. How are you today? Hello, Splash. Look how brave he's getting. He's almost coming in. I mean, he's in the kitchen all the time. He's upstairs all the time. This is good. This is a good greeting. Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Splash. One thing about Splash is he doesn't like the camera as much as the other cats. The other cats don't mind the camera. Splash just doesn't like the camera. So what you guys see on film is not a 100% accurate um, depiction of Splash. Well, A, because it's edited, so you guys only see what's edited. And B, because you guys only see what the camera is picking up. And, you know, cats behave differently when there's a camera on them. Uh, than when there's a camera not on them. So um, keep that in mind. So they're gonna nibble on that while I get their food ready. Simba usually loves it the most out of everyone. Right Simba? Okay, so overnight they took the blanket off of the rebounder. They picked up the corner of this rug and they moved the towel on this ottoman and they knocked down this teepee. I rearranged some furniture down here yesterday and I've made uh, the cat part of the room. I basically uh, gave them this section of the room that has the new cat tower, uh, it has the cat wheel, um, it has the mini trampoline that Splash loves to lay under. And look at that, I didn't even realize that. Look at the cat wheel and the trampoline. 
they like perfectly match each other like the colors they're like a perfect match it's so weird and uh it matches with the new cat tower also with the black and then i put um one of the plastic beds underneath the cat tower can you see it there it has like a fleece blanket in it they love to lay in that and then i put one of stella's cardboard boxes over there with her little plastic um bed under there and then i just threw that play mat there with a bunch of the toys that were down here so this is their half of the room and i'm reclaiming the other half of the room for humans stella's waiting for her food It was purring. They also uh, moved this rug. Okay guys, so I just realized something that um, I did yesterday by moving the furniture and um, I didn't realize it at the time, but it could have positive effects on Splash. See, right now he's like out and about with the other cats looking for his breakfast, right? And look, what's missing right here? Right here used to be that chair that he used to love to hide under. So he had that hiding space right here. I mean, right now this, he could hide under here. This is a box with a bed in it. He could easily hide under there, but he's not hiding under there. And the chair that he loves to hide under is now across the room. And, I mean, he could still access the underneath of it. So that could be, like, somewhere that he runs and hides under. But for him to hide, like, around food time, it's not here anymore. Good boy, Splash. Splash, you are such a good boy. What a good boy you are, Splash. Right? You're a good boy? Come here. Good boy, Splash. Good boy. He's letting me pet him normally right now, which is good. Then he came back around. There's some, uh, there's Splash. Now don't forget that when a cat is very sensitive, you know, just like humans that are very sensitive, a little bit of physical stimulation goes a long way. So while you might be able to pet a cat like Simba for, you know, five or ten minutes at a time without the cat getting overly agitated or anything, when you're dealing with a cat like Splash, who's like super sensitive, often they only tolerate like a shorter time frame. Like you could pet them for like, you know, 20 seconds and that would be the equivalent of petting another cat for like two minutes. This is the breakfast. They're getting the same thing as Boo's getting, but um, they're getting a smaller dosage of the herbs. Okay, who's eating? Who's eating food? Come on. You gotta let me walk. I have to be able to walk. Okay? Okay, guys. Somebody, you're sitting on the dinner table. Get, move over. There you go. There you go. So since Splashy doesn't have that chair to hide under, like, really close by, um, he's braving up. He's braving up and just being with the other cats. Look at Simba's belly. Simba, you got a fluffy belly. Simba has a fluffy belly. Hey, Splash. Do you like the new location of the trampoline? I like the new location. Except if you hang out under here and one of the other cats jumps off of the cat tower onto here, you might get your head bumped a little bit. Here comes Hydrox. I just happened to be looking out of the window. He's walking over from the driveway. 
Now he is smelling the old plate and he is going to eat his breakfast on the new plate. It is 8 p.m. right now. I just got home and I got home way later than I thought I'd be getting home. I really thought I'd be getting home like four hours ago. Um, so I did not defrost anything for the cats because I thought I would be back to take something out. And uh, so today they're having a fish day. They're going to have Trader Joe's tuna because I don't have any raw food defrosted and they have not had their fish uh, in weeks. For a while I was giving them fish on Fridays, um, but they haven't been having it because they were getting the chicken and salmon raw nugget in the morning. So I figured, well, the salmon was fish. So that was their fish. So they haven't been having that. So today they're gonna have tuna. I think Stella will definitely eat it, but as far as like Simba and Splash goes, they might not, in which case um, I'll give them some dry food later. Uh, these cats are on free roam tonight. And Boo um, will be in his room all night. Boo was on free roam last night. So um, when I feed them, I'm going to shut the door so they stay downstairs. And I'm going to let Boo free roam for a while um, before he goes back into his room. Okay, guys. Ready? Come on. I did add water to this. Normally, it's much drier. Move over. Move over, guys. Okay, there you go. Go eat Splash. Each food's fleshy. Actually, they should all eat it because they did not get any dry food today because I was out all day. So they should all be hungry. Boo's getting the same thing, except he's also getting his herbal drops and he's getting a little bit of dry food around the edges just to entice him to eat this because I don't know if he likes this. Hello, Boo. How are you? Did you have a nice day? Boo, you wanna eat some food? Come on, you wanna eat some food? Guess what we're having today, Boo? Guess what we're having? We're having a treat. We're having tuna. Yeah, do you like tuna? I can't remember if you like tuna or not. Boo is eating his tuna. So I guess he likes tuna. So this is Boo's undercover mouse toy. And I've been wanting to experiment with how this would work if I had a longer piece of fabric for it. Um, the tail of the mouse sticks out. And sometimes this mouse arm falls off. And at first I thought it was because Boo was pulling it off. And maybe some of the times when it falls off, maybe it is because Boo is pulling it off. But there have been times where a, um, I've seen it just fall off on its own. Um, in either case, I was in a dollar store today and um, I found this little Christmas tree skirt. This is a 30 inch tree skirt. And I'm just curious to see um, if it would work on this toy and if it would cover the end of that mouse and uh, if Boo would like it better if it did. Right, Boo? I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna smell it. Okay, so here's the tree skirt. It is just um, one continuous piece of fabric. Uh, most of the tree skirts that they sell have like a seam and then there's like buttons along it or ties or something like that. And um, I half expected this to be like that, but it's not, it's just one big piece of fabric. And the inner part um, is much bigger than um, the inner part on what comes with the toy. So, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna experiment with it and put it like this for now and see what happens. Maybe what I can do is get uh, the Velcro. I might even have it somewhere. You know, I could Velcro this onto the yellow one. Again, right now it's just experimentation. So let's put this on and see what happens. Okay, the toy seriously needs new batteries. And that's one thing I forgot to pick up. I forgot to pick up new batteries.
but that is not stopping Boo. Okay, let's see what happens if we try it this way. I just put the red skirt under the yellow fabric and um, I turn the mouse's tail so it's uh, facing up more. So let's turn this on and see what happens. I'm gonna put it on random. It seems like it's getting stuck. I don't know if it's because of the fabric that it's getting stuck or because the batteries are like dead. Okay, I just took the red skirt off and let's put it back on and see how it's moving. Boo's playing on the scratch and rolls again today. I've been uh, rolling those little balls underneath them and he goes crazy getting them out. Like He loves it. So this keeps him amused for a while, while I work on other things. So he gets them out through the middle, which is why I like to kind of keep these together. And the longer these stay together, the more time it takes him to get the balls out from underneath them. Hey, Boop. There he goes, trying to get it out. There's actually a few different balls under that. He just got out the uh, ping pong eyeball. And there's like one of the yellow balls there but he seems to like the pink ball. See, he got it, he got the yellow one. We got the pink one too. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 12.39 a.m. Tonight is Stella's night to sleep on the bed. All the cats have free roam of the house but they're all sleeping downstairs and Stella is sleeping on top of the new cat tower. She'd rather sleep on top of the new cat tower than sleep on the bed. Splash is sleeping on the ottoman, which has moved to the other side of the room now. What are you doing, Stella? 
It is 8 a.m. I hear banging on Boo's door. I look down the hallway and there's Splash. He was actually laying right next to the door. But when he saw me with the camera, he moved a little bit. Still is not too happy because of Boo. That grass has seen better days. It is 8.10 a.m. and just as I was looking outside, Hydrox was jumping onto the patio chair. Now everything is wet outside. It looks like um, it has recently been raining. Yesterday all day was like light rain. So I guess the light rain continued through the night. And now Hydrox is sitting on the patio chair. He's waiting for some food. This is their dinner platter. They licked it clean. Hello, Splashy. Splashy was in the litter box. How you doing, Splashy? I just found another brush in one of my supply drawers. Uh, sometimes when I uh, find stuff really cheap, I'll buy more than one to have backups. And this was the brush that I used on Boo when he was outside. And um, I'm gonna open this one up and see if I can use it on Splash. You like it? Your daddy likes brushes. Come on. No. Okay, here's their food. They're getting the Nature's Variety Rabbit Bites with three of the Primal Turkey Nuggets. And I just remembered that I have to go buy more of the Nature's Variety food today because there are a lot of it now. Um, I also did put um, two freeze-dried blueberries and a freeze-dried strawberry. Hello, Splash. How are you, Splash? Splash's fur feels exactly like Boo's fur. It looks like Boo's fur, and it feels like Boo's fur. Splash is so soft. Come on, I'm gonna eat, eat your food. Eat your food before they eat it out from under you. Okay? Gonna eat your food? See, he doesn't have the chair to hide under anymore. It's okay, Splash, eh? Good morning, Boo. Good morning. We're gonna eat. Come on. Boo always eats all of his food. He never leaves anything on the plate. So today he's getting his, um... Instinct Raw with one of their Primal Raw Nuggets. And he's getting half of a freeze-dried strawberry which has been um, kind of crushed up over the food. The downstairs cats got that also. But they also got a few blueberries. It is 9.05 a.m. and Hydrox is getting his food. Stella has been sitting here looking out the door. Good morning, Hydrox. Good morning, Hydrox. Okay, come on. When he sees me putting his paper plate of food on the uh, plate holder, 
Then he stops meowing. There is food. I put it under the table. And I am just gonna sit here a minute and see what he does. Stella watching from the door. I have to walk past him to throw these paper plates away. He's gonna run to the right, maybe around the bushes and back to the patio. Hey, hi, Tex. I have to put these in the garbage, okay? I'm just gonna walk past you. I'm putting these in the garbage. I just have to put these in the garbage. Okay, you don't want me to? Since he is blocking the way to the driveway, I'm not gonna put these in the garbage yet. I went inside and he walked right back over to his food. So Hydrox is open to being fed, but when it comes to any other kind of interaction, he's not open to that at all yet. Right, Simba? Look at the two lovebirds hanging out downstairs while I scoop the litter. Simba's sitting on the steps. I have the back door open so they can see outside and smell the air. It is 5 p.m. and I am feeding Hydrox some of the Nature's Variety uh, Instinct um, canned food and I'm gonna put this outside. It's just about getting dark so I'm gonna try to put this outside before it gets too dark. So I'm putting the plate under the leg of the table like this because it is really windy out here right now and I'm afraid it's just gonna blow away. That's what happened to the breakfast plate. I just stepped on Simba's tail because this is what he does when I try to walk down the steps. He spreads out completely across the step. He doesn't even give you like any room to put your feet. So Thankfully, I'm not wearing shoes right now, but I did step on the tip of his tail. Not hard, though. But Simba, don't stand on the steps. Hey, Stella. I want to give him treats. The cats are all eating their treats. Stella, Simba, and Splash. Splash was too lazy to get off the ottoman, but he just jumped off of it because Simba is eating his treats. There's a treat for Stella, a treat for Simba, and a treat for Splash. Each a treat. A 
treat for Stella, a treat for Simba, and a treat for Splash. Eat your treat. Eat it before Simba eats it. Eat your treat. For some reason, whenever I give them these treats, I feel like I'm giving them a chewable vitamin. It's the weirdest thing. I feel like I'm giving them those Flintstones vitamins. Do they still even make Flintstones vitamins? That's what I used to have when I was growing up. We used to have those Flintstones chewable vitamins, and that's what I feel like I'm giving these cats when I give them these treats. I never feel that way with any other treats. Eat your treats, Simba. Eat your treats, Splash. You didn't eat it. Simba ate it. I just gave him another one. These are the treats they're getting. The Bench and Field Holistic Natural Feline Treats. Right now, Simba and Splash are nice and calm. I have to take the ironing board out and the iron and iron some clothes. They freak when I take the ironing board out. They hate the ironing board. And there goes Stella grooming her belly. Stella is purring very loudly. Stella nibbled on my hand for the first time ever right now. I was petting Splash, and as I was petting Splash, I felt Stella nibbling on my other hand. Like, I was petting him with my left hand, and Stella was, like, nibbling on my right hand. And it, it wasn't, like, she wasn't agitated like this. She's only agitated like this right now because I have the camera. Before I put the camera on her, she was fine. You guys hungry? You want to eat? The downstairs cats are getting their food. They're getting the instant draw. They're getting some of the uh, triple grass powder and they're getting water. Okay, everybody move over. I can't walk if you're all standing in front of me. Splash gets so happy to eat. Do you see him rubbing up against Simba and Stella? See? He goes from one to the other. Hello. Eat your food. Time for Boo's dinner. He's getting the same thing the other cats are getting, except he's also getting his herbs. It is 7 p.m. Boo is eating his dinner now. There's the webcam, which is broadcasting him live on the internet as he eats his dinner. There's a live stream going on. Right, Boo? Right now, there are 46 people watching Boo eat his dinner. And these are the um, people that are in the chat room. I'm going to give everyone a shout out. First of all, I'm going to give a shout out to Hydrox the Cat uh, for the super chat. Thank you very much. And another big shout out to Lisa Can for uh, the super chat. That was super awesome of you. The participants right now are CR Barboni, Cal Extra, Craig Danielson, DB, Debbie Lerman, Lisa Can, Lucas A. Megaside84, Megan Caldea, Monu, MTL, MTL, Tim Smith, Yosemite Saddam, and Zoa Langford. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out in the uh, chat room and participating in the live chat. And right now there are 50 people watching uh, Boo's dinner plate because I don't know where Boo went. He, uh, he's on free room right now and he just walked out of the room. Oh, he just came back. There's Boo. Today there's a new turkey sitting on Boo's love seat.
Boo is sleeping on the bed. Flash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. Would you like some breakfast today? Would you like some breakfast today? Boo slept on the bed almost all night. Last night was the first night that um, I heard him in... Uh, the living room playing with very loud toys. The turbo scratcher is a very loud toy at night. But it sounded like Boo would run into the room and he would uh, smack the ball around so it would spin like really fast. Then he would run out of the room. Then he would run into the room, smack the ball around, it would spin really fast and he'd run out of the room. He had a really good time doing that for a while. There's litter all over the place. I don't know if it's because this new litter is different or he was playing in here and he just smacked a whole bunch around, but that's gonna need to be vacuumed up today. See how he loves his arches? He loves his arches, look. This is the Boo Plate Special. The Nature's Variety Instagraw Chicken Bites, his herbal tinctures, a little bit of wheatgrass, and water. I think out of all of the cats, Boo is the one that is most like a dog. Right, Boo? Puppy Boo? Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. There's your food, Boo. It's like the kitty cat diner. I just opened Boo's windows uh, like two inches to give him some air to smell and it is really cold out. I can't get a good focus on the thermometer outside but it says it's like 32 degrees out. I mean, it's like freezing. So I'm putting the food together for the downstairs cats and um, I just cut up some wheatgrass for them. And this is what the wheatgrass is looking like today. Um, so the secret is in how you cut it. You know, just cut some off the top. Uh, like you would if you're mowing a lawn or cutting hair or something. And um, it seems to like it better. And other than turning a little bit yellow in some of the center areas, um, it is really uh, kept up well. Um, Usually plants that don't get enough sun um, will turn yellow because they can't generate their own chlorophyll. Plants require sunlight to generate chlorophyll. So I'm going to put this in a sunny window today and just see if that helps it at all. Good morning. Let's talk really quickly about how cats communicate with you. So last night I went to bed and um, I was laying in bed and I was writing in my calendar just so I know um, what stuff I needed to get done today. And out of nowhere, I got this thought that I did not put any dry food out for the downstairs cats. I usually sprinkle some dry food on that platter that you see there. So they have a little bit to nibble on overnight. Um, I explained in yesterday's video how they get their wet food for dinner and then that leaves enough um, calories left in their daily allotment 
that they could then have um, one or two small servings of dry food after that. So I had not given them any dry food after that because I was busy. So I went to bed and out of nowhere, I got that, um, you know, the feeling that, oh, I have to give them some dry food. I forgot to give them dry food. But you know how it is when you go to bed, you get all comfortable. And the last thing in the world I wanted to do was get out of bed and give them dry food. But I did. When I came down here, they were all just like waiting around this platter. And that's when I was like, oh my gosh, I think they're the ones that sent me the thought form saying, wait a minute, don't go to bed because you didn't give us our food for the night. Because right before I went to bed, I came down here to say goodnight to them. And um, that is how cats communicate with us. Cats don't yell at us and say, hey, you forgot to give me food. Cats will send us thoughts and feelings and it's up to us to pay attention to them and to hear them and to interpret them, meaning the thoughts and feelings. Um, because that's how cats communicate. Right, Stella? Right, Simba? And a lot of the people who are scientifically trained or uh, trained in psychology, they're going to say, well, that was just your subconscious mind and... Um, it was something that you're, you know, trained to think about on a daily basis. And uh, that's where I say there's so many things about what science calls the subconscious mind that we don't know. That's just theory and conjecture. This is what the cats are eating. They have their little rub fest right now. They rub all against each other. Have you noticed it's mostly Splash? Splash goes back and forth. He rubs up against Stella, and then he rubs up against Simba. Right, Splash? Yep. Then I put the food down and he lets me pat him. Nice boy, Splashy. What a nice boy you are, Splashy. He's coming around. He's getting there. Right, Splash? Splash is like a socially awkward person. I'm sure we've all met people like that or have been people like that at one time in our lives or another when they just don't know the right thing to say or the right thing to do or you know stuff like that or they might feel uncomfortable in a certain situation that's just splash that's splash there's nothing wrong with splash splash is perfectly normal So here is the weather forecast for the next several days. It is definitely taking a turn for the colder. Uh, today is supposed to be high of 49, low of 37. Tomorrow, high of 50, low of 32. The following day, high of 53, low of 38. Followed by high of 38, low of 24. Oh my gosh, winter is here. There is so much fluff going on right here now. Look at this. Look at this cat. He's so fluffy.
her Stella. Hey Stella. Want me to rub your fluffy tummy? Oop. Stella says, you're not rubbing my tummy. Meanwhile, I was just rubbing her tummy like five minutes ago, which is why I decided to go get the camera because they were in tummy rubbing moods. Look, you could look at her. See her? You see her? Look at her eyes. You could tell she's ready to... Yep. Good girl, Stella. You're a good girl. Stella makes it known when she's not happy. Stella, are you a queen? Stella, are you a queen? Are you a queen? Stella, are you queen? Queen Stella? You want me to call you Queen Stella? No. You're not Queen Stella. Stella Diva? No. I don't like that name either. Stella Regina? Stella Regina. Nope, you don't like that name either? <gasps> you don't bite. So here's the wheel. I moved it in hopes that maybe they would like to use it better where it originally was. Because when it was by the sofa, they never used it. I mean, they laid next to it, but they never touched it at all. So um, I put some of their toys on it. And um, then I ended up playing with them with the toys near it. And so today what I'm doing is I'm putting more toys on it. Let's see if... They move any of these toys. So right now it is a little after 9 a.m. and I just went outside to uh, see if Hydrox is out here. Now he's not out here. I don't see him anywhere. He could be in the woods. He could be wandering wherever. Um, and I just wanted to point out the big difference between um, when Stella was ready to uh, be socialized, when Boo was ready to be socialized, and now Hydrox. So. I did not start making daily videos with Boo until he started coming around daily for every single meal. Prior to that first What Happened to Boo video, Boo would only come around occasionally. And when he arrived at my doorstep all scraped up, that's when I knew, well, this cat is coming to me for help. And um, I just instinctively knew to just start filming everything just to see what happened, just to observe and see what did he do. And he ended up uh, coming for every single meal after that and eventually moving onto my patio full-time he was just basically living in my yard and he kept wanting to get closer and closer to the door and then eventually he came inside um, he came inside because he had to go to the vet um, but it all worked out well and it was very similar with Stella Stella first came around occasionally with Boo and then she started coming around every single day for every single meal. And um, next thing I know, I saw the kittens. They pretty much moved into my yard and um, they were living on the patio also and it was like the same progression. Now Hydrox is not doing that and Hydrox is not here for every single meal. Um, so I'm not gonna force myself on Hydrox. You can't force yourself on feral cats. Um, you could take care of them, you could feed them, you could provide them shelters, but it's really up to them to uh, want to interact with you. Because the more I try to force myself on him, and the more I try to force my will on him, the less he's gonna come around, and potentially the less safe he might be. Okay, so I went inside to put some food together for Hydrox, and I came outside, and here he is, standing next to the table. And he's meowing. Hello, Hydrox. How are you? Walking very slow. Are you having a nice day, Hydrox? Would you like some food? Hydrox, want to eat some food? Yeah, you're hungry? Okay, right now this is big. I'm walking slow. I'm approaching the table, maybe six feet away from him. Here's the food. I'm going to put the food on this plate holder. And look, Hydrox is still just sitting here. He's just sitting here. So I'm going to clip the plate in. The reason why I have these plate holders and these clips is uh, just to give this paper plate some more weight. And um, there's a rubber bottom so it doesn't slide around. And it's just better that way. And there goes Hydrox. He's just moving over a little bit. Right? Okay. 
I just put the plate under the tables. I'm gonna stand back and see what happens. There's Boo watching from the window. And there's Hydrox eating his food. Right now it's about 10.20 a.m. I don't know exactly, I don't have any time in this room, but um, I am going to give Boo a little bit of dry food and I'm gonna set up his live stream and then I'm gonna head out for the day, right Boo? Go be a good boy. Go be a good boy, Boo. Okay. He has one tablespoon of dry food. There's your food. You're welcome, Boo. Just in case this is the last time that I see my beautiful begonia. Hello, Boo. What are you doing? You being a good boy? Did you have a nice day, Boo? Ready to eat some food? Want dinner? Want some dinner, Boo? Yeah? Did you do anything fun today? You play with your toys? Did you use your arches or did you just sleep all day? Yeah, you slept all day? So Boo now has a favorite thing. Right here you see two scratch and rolls. They're placed next to each other. And right here you see two of these cat toys. They're the little balls and yes, uh, Boo just hit the camera. So this is his new favorite thing, playing with these balls under the scratch and rolls. So what I do is I take this ball and I put it under the scratch and roll. I'm gonna find the other ball and put it under here also. So here's the other ball and I'm gonna put it under here. And this is what Boo does. He hunts the balls out from under the scratch and rolls. He goes crazy. Right now he's hunting them. Then he'll poke them out and then he'll chase them around the room. This one I'm gonna put back in. They're both back under there. Oh, now he has the pink one. Let's put it back. Got the ball boo. You got the ball? Then I'm gonna put it back under. He loves laying across both of the scratch rolls. It is 8.55 p.m. and I am giving a shout out to Fishy Tautog for the super chat today. Um, this live stream has been going on for the past 10 and a half hours. I'm just about to shut it down so Boo could uh, go to bed in his room and um, sleep tonight. So thank you to everyone who's been watching the live stream. It is 10.30 p.m. Boo is banging on the door. I just saw his paws coming out from under the door. It's time to go to bed. It's 10.30 and um, he needs to chill out. Boo, just relax. 
Tonight is Stella, Splash, and Simba's night to free roam the house. They're very happy to be free roaming. Boo has been out of his room for hours tonight. He literally just went back in his room maybe like an hour ago. So he had plenty of time wandering around the house. Now I understand he wants to be um, with me. Maybe he wants to be with the other cats. Maybe he wants to be out of his room. There's his paw. But he has to wait. I think... I think we're now down to less than 20 days. I just checked the calendar. We are exactly at 20 more days. 40 days have passed since Boo got his first test. So Boo has been inside for 40 days. 40 days inside but separate from the other cats. 20 more days to go. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 7.26 a.m. and I forgot to defrost raw food for the cats. So I just took out uh, their raw food, I took out their portions, and I put it on this baking sheet. And the baking sheet is on top of um, my cast iron uh, stove grates. I have a gas stove. Um, so this is just gonna sit here for an hour, uh, it's going to defrost, and I'm going to feed the cats at 8:30, um, which is around their normal feeding time. Recently, I've been just um, trying to uh, adjust my schedule so I get up a bit earlier, and I am home earlier before it gets dark. So um, right now, I'm just going to go about my morning, and then come back to this in an hour, and uh, give them food. Um, what sucks about that is I'm going to have the cats pestering me uh, for the next hour until they eat. We're not eating yet, Stella. I have to defrost the food, okay? We're not eating yet, Simba. I have to defrost the food, okay? 8.38 a.m. I'm just about to feed the cats their breakfast, but first I'm giving them some wheatgrass. Now, this wheatgrass is pretty much at the end of its usefulness. Because today, I noticed that it's becoming very thin. It might be because I have not watered it in several days. They say not to water it every day, um, but a few times a week. And I don't remember the last time I watered it. I also did have it in a window with southern exposure, but it's been super cloudy. So I thought that would not affect it. It could just be that it's near the end of its life cycle. They say that wheatgrass um, you know, does have a fairly short lifespan. What I would like to do, um, which is just a thought at this time, is to make like a whole tray full of cat grass like big enough that the cats can roll around in it. I bet they would love to like roll around some real grass, um, but I don't want to let them outside. When I was growing up, um, we didn't feed our cats cat grass. We fed them lettuce. They used to love eating lettuce. So if you don't have cat grass readily available for your cats, you can try feeding them a few pieces of lettuce. We had one cat that just loved iceberg lettuce. But cats like to chew on greens. I mean, that's a, 
That's why a lot of times they'll chew on house plants. But it's better to give them greens that we know are safe to eat and will have some nutritional value. Stella's looking at the food. So here's their food this morning. Um, it is pretty much defrosted right now. I've put it on separate plates just because I feel like it. I'm going to put some herbs on here, um, put some water on there, and feed it to the cats. And there they are, eating on their separate plates, except for Splash. He's looking upstairs. I mean, he's sitting. Splash is right there. And there the cats are, so he'll eat once I go upstairs. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. Are you ready to eat your breakfast? Remember with Boo, it's always a greet and eat. It's never an eat and greet, it's always a greet and eat. He's gonna stretch. No, he's gonna scratch. Okay. It is like 9.15 right now, and this is what happens when I feed the cats on separate plates. They don't eat their food. When I feed them on the platter, they gobble it up. It's the same food. There's no difference. Right now, I am bringing some food outside for Hydrox. This is some of the Nature's Variety Pride canned food. I believe this is the chicken uh, chunks or chicken bits. I don't know what they call it exactly. I just put Hydrox's food on the plate holder and it's under the table. And there is no dry food whatsoever in the feeder, which means I need to check to make sure that there's food in the feeder. Today is the first day that really feels like winter. According to this thermometer, it's only like 37 degrees out. Okay, so I just opened up the feeder and there's plenty of food in here and it says the next time it's dispensing food is at 6.30 uh, a.m. tomorrow morning, which makes me think that it already dispensed food this morning and maybe the food has been eaten. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, keep an eye on this. So here is the other doghouse shelter. This will be the first winter using this shelter. So let's take a look at the inside. This is one big piece of insulation that is rested across the top of this doghouse um, to make um, a, a lower ceiling for it. Um, without this, it kind of has like a cathedral ceiling that goes up to the roofs. Like you can see the rafters. Um, so this makes like a drop ceiling and uh, that'll help keep the heat down. For if there's an animal in here, like a cat, it'll help keep the heat down. So this is what the inside of this shelter looks like. There's insulation on the walls. Uh, there's insulation on the bottom and there was a whole bunch of straw inside. I just put the straw inside. Uh, there was a towel inside of it, um, but that was put there when the weather was warm. This doghouse style shelter uh, was put up months ago um, during the summer. So uh, it was time to take that out and put in the straw. Um, so this will give them um, something to kind of burrow in and keep warm in. So they'll have um, the insulation reflecting their body heat back onto them and they'll also have the straw. Eventually, I'll also um, put flaps on the doors. I think I'm gonna put the, uh, the clear uh, vinyl flaps on the door so they can look out also. So um, that's this one. Stella is watching everything I'm doing from the door. And Boo is watching everything I'm doing from the window. Okay, new experiment this year. I have this little portable greenhouse. I just took it out, put it together, and I'm putting my begonia in here. And I want to see how long it survives outside in this greenhouse. Okay, all of the plants are now in their greenhouse, so let this experiment begin on top. We have the geraniums, marigolds, and purple salvia. In the middle I have those portulacas. On the bottom I have the begonia. And um, this plastic is really cold and stiff right now, so as it heats up, I'll be able to stretch it out better. This is the heated pet mat that was used last year in uh, the Rubbermaid shelter. Um, I'm thinking of putting this in the wooden shelter this year. 
Um, this is from KH. It's khmfg.com. And this plugs in, and um, the cat lays on it, or the dog lays on it, and uh, it's warm for them. It does not get overly warm, um, just warm enough to keep them safe and happy. This is what the back looks like, and um, this is a removable cover for it. It's like a fleece cover. Um, but they do suggest to use it with the cover and not just with the pad and because it does warm up um, If it does get wet um, It will or it should dry itself. So here is the custom-made wooden cat shelter that is under the house It's like this little alcove. So right here. We have the vestibule. This vestibule comes out Then we have the cat shelter. Originally, this was the entrance to the cat shelter, but um, it definitely stays warmer and less breezy with a vestibule in front of it. Uh, so that's why the vestibules were added on. They're not attached because it's easier just to keep them modular, but they were added on. So this is what the top looks like. Um, it is insulated. And this is what it looks like inside this shelter. Um, there are two of the self-heating uh, cat mats and um, there's like a fleece blanket, actually two fleece blankets, and um, some flannel pajamas. And it's fully insulated on all sides. And I'm just trying to think, like obviously if I put this heated mat in here, I'm gonna take some stuff out. So, um, okay, let me go, let me go grab some gloves so I can take this stuff out. Check that out, so when I was taking all the stuff out of it, I found that green pool toy. I was looking for that for months and I just gave up looking for it because I couldn't find it anywhere. Well, one of the cats took it in here. That's funny, right? So this is the bottom. The bottom has the silver insulation, but above the silver insulation is just um, like an indoor outdoor carpeting, a few small pieces of that. And then on top of that carpeting, um, we have these two self heating pet mats so when the pet lays on these um, their body heat is redirected right back to them now links to um, all these mats and heating products and shelter products can be found in the description below this video now this heated mat is like a perfect fit so I actually took away the self heating mat that was under here I'm leaving the self heating mat over here um, so if like Hydrox comes in here he could, you know, hang out over here, um, but if he lays here, then he'll have the heat from the heated mat, and the uh, wire is going to go out the door and out the vestibule. The only other thing that I'm doing is putting back one of those fleece blankets, and I'm just wrapping it against that wall there, um, so it's something comfy to kind of lay against. And so there we have it. The uh, wooden shelter has been reassembled. The um, vestibules are put back on. And um, there is the wire for the heated pet mat. I have it hooked into these extension cords. It's like a three-way splitter. The other splitter is going to the heated pet bowl. And right now, um, I'm just putting this mat on top of it. Um, so no cats will get into it. Um, I've never had issues with the outside cats like chewing on extension cords or anything. Um, the only issues I've had with the inside cats chewing on electrical cords is um, headphones, earbuds, and um, my computer uh, power cables. Um, not not like the cable part that goes into the wall, but the part that plugs into the computer. Um, I believe Simba likes to chew on that stuff, but they have to be like the really thin ones. So these are the heated pet food bowls. This is called the Kitty Cafe. And normally what I do is I put water in this one and then I put the food in this one. I kind of do it backwards. Um, but I like to make sure that they have um, as much fresh unfrozen water as possible and that their food uh, stays warm. Right now I'm not putting anything in this right now um, just because it's not going to freeze yet and I'm just doing this now this morning because it's probably the best time um, for me to do it just based on my schedule. So that means we do have this one other self-heating pet mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the new doghouse shelter. I'm going to put this under the straw. So this pet mat is like a perfect fit for this doghouse. Like it is crazy how it's such a perfect fit. It does not fit all the way up to the side walls. There's a couple inches around each side, but that's what makes it perfect because it, you know, 
We don't want it all the way to the edge because we don't want it getting wet. Um, so it does leave a little bit of uh, leeway space in there. So while I'm at it, let me show you guys the water tub. It's basically just this uh, large blue Rubbermaid tub and um, it has a smaller little white tub inside of it uh, that's holding the water. Um, I just take the white tub out, um, empty it, clean it, refill it, and it's uh, really easy to do. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm running late. Now with the cats, what I do like to do is um, use the color blue anytime I give them water. So like outside, um, I use the blue tub for like a water station, and then inside, all their water bowls um, are blue ceramic water bowls. 10.20 a.m., just came back inside, and they finished most of their food. It is 6.40 p.m. I am just getting home. I was supposed to be home like two hours ago, but I got stuck at work and uh, I'm getting home late. So um, right now I'm gonna feed the cats. It looks like they've all been sleeping because it's been dark down here and I have not left any lights on. I thought I would be back before it got dark. Now the other thing that's weird is they have free roam right now. They could be anywhere in the house and they're all down here, so I guess they like it down here. You guys wanna eat? So this is what is left of their breakfast plates. Hello, Stella. Where's Splash? Hey, Splash. Hello, Splash. Hello, Boo. How are you? Come on, we're gonna eat dinner. We're gonna eat dinner? That's not a scratching post. That's not a scratching mat. Come on. Let's eat. It is 6.45 and I am giving Boo some food. He's been on a live stream all day. He's getting his uh, Nature's Variety Instinct bites and some of the Primal Raw Nuggets and his herbs and some water. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. 7.43 a.m. I'm going to play with Boo for a little bit before I put him in his room and give him some food. Boo's been on free roam all night, and most of the night he slept on the bed. I have no idea why these cats like this so much. It always has to be this toy under the scratch and rolls. I'm gonna put these together. This is Boo's food today. The raw chicken bites, he's getting some of the powdered grass, and he's getting his herbs and water. Hey Boo! You wanna eat? Are you hungry, Boo? Doesn't he did his little back leg stretch? Now he's gonna rub the arches. Wanna eat? You hungry? Would you like breakfast? Want breakfast, Boo? Good morning. Good morning. Come on, guys. Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Splash. How are you today? Right now it's about 11.15 a.m. And um, I'm gonna play with Boo on his Turbo Scratcher for a little while. I was petting him and 
he got mad at me for petting him, and I was only petting his head. It was weird. It's like he only now wants to use the arches. Human hands are not good enough. Remove this. Move this. Move this. Eleven twenty five AM. All of the cats are so sleepy today. I don't know why they're so sleepy. Maybe they were having a party down here all night because Boo slept on the bed. But I don't know what they were doing. What were you guys doing down here? This morning they ate on their platter and uh, they eat all of their food when they're served on the platter. And right now I just put in like a handful of dry food because I'm about to leave. Gives them something to munch on for a while. And here's Splash on the ottoman. And the ottoman has started moving on its own again. Um, I usually keep it right in front of the chair that it belongs to. And now it has shifted almost a foot to the right. Which makes me think that these cats have been like jumping on it and playing on it. And diving off of it. So right now Splash is enjoying it. So now that it's starting to get really cold out, this is how I do things. I bring a pitcher of uh, warm water from inside. I bring a can of food out and I am going to put the food and the water in the heated bowls. And that's what it looks like. Here is half a can of the food for Hydrox. I add a bunch of water to that and uh, there is the water. And there's Hydrox. I heard him meowing. I guess he was laying by the house where it's sunny and warm. Hydrox, you want to eat? Would you like to eat some food? Come here. Come here and eat some food. There's no dry food in the feeder. I don't know if it's because uh, it has all been eaten or if it's because the dry food is not dispensing. I checked it yesterday and um, I was having the same issue. I couldn't figure out if it was because it's not dispensing or what. So I can't check it now because I have to get going, but I'm gonna try to check it either later or tomorrow again. Right now Hydrox is just sitting there like he hasn't figured out where his food is yet. That's crazy. Maybe I'm going to go bring some dry food out and put that in the bowl, just in case that's what he's looking for. Oh no, there he goes. He's moving. He's eating the food. Good boy. He should like it because it's warm and has warm water in it. It is 4.55 p.m. and Boo is getting his dinner with the Primal Raw Turkey and the uh, Nature's Variety Instinct Chicken Bites and um, water and herbs. It is 4.58 p.m. I just opened the back door and look what I see. Hydrox. He's like waiting for me. He's like, where are you? Give me my food. Um, so I'm gonna go out and give him this food before it gets much darker. So that's his dinner. I put half a can of the uh, Nature's Variety Pride food in um, the left portion of this dispenser and uh, there's still water in the right. Hey Hydrox. Hydrox, you wanna eat your food? Come on, go eat Hydrox. Eat your food Hydrox. I just stuck my finger in uh, the water the water is actually warm. It's just like, just slightly warm. But I am gonna top it up with more warm water. Hydrox, you could eat. And there goes Hydrox, he went straight for the food. Which is good. Because then he'll get some good liquid and water. I just fed Hydrox. And then I fed the downstairs cats. And then I just came up the steps and there's Hydrox again. He's just hanging out. I mean, unless he wants dry food. 
I don't know what he's doing. Now he does have uh, the heated electric pet mat in the cat house under the house. And uh, the dog house has been insulated. There's also straw inside of it and one of those um, self-reflecting heat mats in it. So he has houses he can go into. Um, if he's cold, he could go in those houses. So there's like a little cat party going on downstairs. They're eating their food on their platter. And Hydrox is now eating his dry food. So um, I guess that's what he wanted. I mean, if he's standing by the door, that's the only thing he's gonna want from me is food. It's not like he wants to come in because he does not like being close to humans. But he does like eating food. put bird and squirrel videos on for Boo. I don't put these on in his little room because he goes crazy for them. I just put them on now that he's in the living room. Look at this. I hope he doesn't attack the screen. This is Boo watching bird videos on TV. It is 10 p.m. I just went out to my car to get something and I saw Hydrox near the patio. And uh, he was like looking at me and I noticed he had no food uh, in the bowl or on his plate. I thought maybe he's still hungry so I gave him a scoop of the dry food. And he's eating it. He must be really hungry. Hey Stella. Stella's been watching through the door. Hello Stella. I'm going to shut the door because it's cold and cold air is coming in, okay? It is 10.34 p.m. And Boo has started to bang on his door. He's in his room right now. I just put him in his room maybe 20 minutes ago. So um, Splash is there in the hallway looking at his door. Simba is now looking at the door also. Now, here's what I realized today. So when they were all living together outside, 
none of them were fixed. Uh, Stella wasn't fixed, Boo wasn't fixed, and the kittens weren't fixed. In January, almost a year ago, when Stella and the kittens came inside, they were fixed. Um, and then Boo was fixed this past July. So I doubt they all have the same smell that they had because I would assume that uh, after they're fixed, their smell changes slightly. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see if they recognize each other because cats usually recognize each other based on smell. And potentially none of them will be smelling the same because they've all been fixed. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Seven fifty-five a.m. Hydrox is sleeping outside on the patio chair. It is like thirty-five degrees out. He has the much warmer shelters to sleep in. I don't know why he's sleeping on the chair. Boo has been banging on the door. Okay guys, you just missed it. It happened right here. I was petting Splash and then he rolled over and he let me rub his tummy. He only let me rub his tummy for like 10 seconds, but still that is like the first time he's let me rub his tummy since, um, since he got fixed. So Splash is making progress. Simba's getting ready to eat. Simba, you getting ready to eat? You're grooming yourself for breakfast? Stella is like, on your mark, get set, go. Today, the cats got weighed, and this is what they weighed. Now, this is based off of my bathroom scale, like first me getting on the bathroom scale, and then me getting on the scale holding a cat and then subtracting the difference. Um, so is this 100% accurate? I don't know. Um, anyway, Simba, according to uh, today's scale, weighs 12.8 pounds. Boo weighs 13.4 pounds. Stella weighs 14.6 pounds. They're all within two pounds of each other. Um, but I think based on these weights, I will be cutting back on the amount of dry food that they consume. Um, I want them to eat their wet food. Um, they're getting served enough wet food for a 10 pound cap. So any calorie difference would be coming from the dry food. And um, so I'm definitely going to be cutting back on the amount of dry food that they're getting. Maybe I'm gonna give them half the dry food that they're currently getting and um, weigh them again in a couple weeks and uh, see what they weigh. 9.57 a.m. There is dry food in the feeder, so that means the feeder has been dispensing correctly. I just put some wet food out here along with some water. It is super, super windy out. Like everything is blowing around. This plate blew around. I'm just gonna put it back under here. 
Even this mat blew around. Now, I don't know if this blew around because of the landscapers or what, but I'm just putting it back where I had it on top of that electric. Now, right now, my begonia is still alive. I can't bring it in because it's just gigantic. And if I put it in the garage, it's just gonna die like it has every year. So I'm just testing it out in this greenhouse. Uh, I'm just gonna see what happens. Portulacas are in there and also the geraniums on top. It is 5.02 p.m. and everything has been blown all over the patio because it is so windy today. Like it's ridiculously windy. I don't know where Hydrox is. Oh wow, look, there's a bunch of leaves in the food. So. Um, all the food is gone. I am gonna give him food and I'm gonna go inside get some hot water and put water in there So I was just making a whole lot of noise when I was putting uh, the food in the bowl Because I was trying to figure out how to move it under the table and look who I see I am so happy to see Hydrox right here. Do you see that wire going into the wooden house? He's right next to that's the heated mat So let's hope Hydrox was inside that house on the heated mat because he's a smart cat Okay, there's Hydrox. He's eating the food that I put in the feeder. Um, I still have to put water in it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the downstairs cats, and then when I see that he's done eating, I'm going to go outside, put water in the water part, and if he ate all the food, I'll give him some more food. Because in this really cold weather, um, they could use some extra food because you know they have to stay warm. I just fed the downstairs cats. They're getting the same thing as Boo, just without herbs today. Which is their standard dinner. They eat this almost every night, um, which is um, one each of the primal raw turkey nuggets and a um, quarter cup each of the nature's variety chicken bites. 9.48 p.m. Boo's on free roam right now. He was just let out of his room like 10 minutes ago. He's been doing a live stream all day. And uh, now he's hanging out on the scratch and rolls. I just put his mouse on for him. That'll keep him entertained for a little while. And then when he's done with this, I'll probably put bird videos on for him. This is the new way he plays with this toy. He doesn't want to get off the scratch and roll. So he just puts his paw out like that. I think he did that in yesterday's video also. This is how he plays now. He's too lazy to get off the scratch and all. So all he wants to do is put his paw out. And he doesn't even want to like catch it. He just wants his paw to be there to block it. He keeps his paw there to block it. And that's it.
9.56 p.m. Boo has slid the scratch and roll over so that it is right on top of the undercover mouse. I mean... Boo, what did you do? He's like right on top of it. Pushing that back. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Okay, this is a first for Boo. This is the first time I've seen Boo jump on top of the chair, almost on the cat tower to look outside the window. The reason why he's doing this is because I'm editing a video, and in the video, Hydrox is meowing. So Boo is trying to look outside and see where I the meowing is coming from. See, there's Hydrox. Here, let's see. Let's see if I could get any of this on film. Watch. Would you like some food? Would you like some food? Hydrox, want to eat some food? Yeah, you're hungry. Okay, right now this is big. I'm walking slow. Hello, Hydrox. How are you? Walking very slow. Are you having a nice day, Hydrox? Would you like some food? Hydrox, want to eat some food? Yeah, you're hungry? 11.50 p.m. I came downstairs to say goodnight to the cats and to shut the light off. Here's Splash. He's hanging out on the rug. He's near the play mat. There's Stella. She's sleeping in her basket under the cat tree. There's the cat tree. There's Stella in her basket. Stella's so cute. And there's Simba. Today Simba's on the ottoman. Usually Splash likes to sleep there. But I guess Simba's hanging out there today. It is 1.32 a.m. right now. It's booze night to free roam the house. And he'd rather just lay on the bed. My boop! Nine AM. Good morning, Boo. This is Boo's breakfast. He's getting his instinct raw bites. He's getting his herbs. He's getting some green grass powder because I'm all out of fresh cat grass. Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat, Boo? Would you like some breakfast? Breakfast? Boo. Hey, Boo. 
Boo. You want breakfast? There you go, Boo. You have your breakfast and you have fresh water. I'm going to shut his door so he can stay in his room for a little while and I can bring the other cats upstairs. Good morning. Good morning, Splash. How come you didn't come upstairs? Good morning, Stella. Oh, you were a good girl. Good girl. Okay, we're going to eat. Good morning, Simba. The cats are getting the same exact thing that Boo's getting. They're just getting a little different dosage of the herbs. There's your food. There you go, Splash. Eat your food, Splashy. You could eat your food. Right now, it is about 28 degrees out. It's below freezing. So I'm taking uh, some food out for Hydrox and I'm taking this pitcher of warm water out to Hydrox. And I'm gonna put these in the kitty cafe. I just came outside and there's Hydrox. He's laying in the sun by the house. And um, it's actually not too bad here in the sun by the house. I'm standing outside here without a jacket. I just have like a hoodie on. So considering the fact that Hydrox is wearing a fur coat, uh, he should be okay. Plus it's nice for him to get some sun and some air. And there's Boo, he's doing the same thing near the window. Maybe I'll go inside and uh, open his window a little bit so he gets some fresh air also. Hydrox, would you like to eat some food? Would you like some breakfast? Hydrox. Hydrox. You wanna eat some food? Hydrox, do you want some food? So here's what's going on with uh, this kitty cafe. Uh, there are leaves in the water again, and um, the food side is just a mess. So I'm actually gonna try to move this so it's under one of the feeding tables. Okay, Okay. so I just put the kitty cafe under the tables, and I turned it so Hydrox could stand under the tables and eat at uh, the bowls. Now there's all kinds of wires and extension cords out here, so I just tucked a bunch of them under this rug. Uh, normally by now this rug would have been rolled up and uh, or put in the garage, um, but I didn't have a chance to do that yet. And hopefully the weather will warm up again. We'll have another few days of warm weather um, where I will have the option. Also, it was really wet for a while, um, and I can't roll it up while it's wet. So it looks like my begonias got hit. I mean, it was super cold yesterday. I'm shocked that um, it still has leaves and flowers on it because in the past um, we'd get like a really bad frost and um, or a cold snap. Even like last year I put it in my garage and I wanted to see what would happen in the garage because it's a little bit warmer in the garage than outside. And one day I went in and everything was just like deflated, like a deflated balloon. So that's why I'm a little shocked to still see uh, leaves and flowers on this. I half expected this to be just totally deflated. So Hydrax walked over to the food and he was eating it while I was showing you the greenhouse. Okay, Hydrax, you could eat. There's Hydrax eating his food. Now there was uh, zero dry food in the feeder 
when I went out there, like none. So now I'm wondering if I should increase the amount that is dispensed every morning. Because now as the weather's colder, Hydrox um, might want to eat more food to deal with the colder weather. It is 1 p.m. And here are two very happy cats to be laying in the sunshine near the back door. Hello, Simba. Hello, Stella. I don't know where Splash is. I just got back. It is 4.55 p.m. And this is what the Kitty Cafe looks like right now. Um, the food bowl uh, has been emptied and it's all dried out and the water bowl is still here. It has not frozen. I am going to rinse both of the bowls out uh, with this hot water. I refill the water and uh, put some food in here. He's getting half of this Trader Joe's can of uh, ocean fish, salmon, and rice and um, a little bit of water in there also. And there's Hydrox. It looks like he just came out of the cat house. I hope so because the electric heating pad is in there. And that would be good because that means it's nice and warm for him. It is really quiet outside right now. It's like this weird quiet. Okay, I don't know if you guys could see it because I'm filming through this door. But Hydrox is sitting under their table. He's eating his food. So that's good, and then hopefully he'll go back in the warm cat house. Okay, Simba. Gotta be careful, so I don't step on you again. Hello, Stella. It is 5.16 p.m. Boo is sitting here watching me wrap Christmas presents. Yep. He likes the sound of cutting paper and, um, you know, the scissors on the paper. And uh, when he hears that, he gets like all excited. It is 2.09 a.m. Going to bed. And here's Boo, laying on the bed. Today is supposed to be Stella's night on the bed. And Stella, Splash, and Simba are supposed to be on free roam. But they're all hanging out downstairs. When I went downstairs to see what they were up to, they were hunting a bug. And um, Boo was upstairs. He was in his room at the time, but he was kind of like banging on the door. So I decided they seem happy downstairs. I'm just going to let them stay downstairs. And uh, Boo really wanted to come out of his room. So I let him out of his room. And I figure... Uh, the three of them are hanging out with each other, and Pooh's just by himself, so uh, Pooh's been hanging out with me since I let him out of his room, and uh, he's going to sleep on the bed tonight, and I just, my concern is that he's going to start becoming like super possessive of the bed, and me, and uh, other things in the house so I definitely want to try to keep a balance between him and the other cats right boo you okay boo you tired are you tired boo you're a good boy boo you're a good boy boo Who's purring? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. Did you just make a stinky? You made a stinky? You hungry? It's late. It's late. Yesterday, I bought some new cat grass. 
And this is what it looks like, Boo's checking it out. And um, they had a lot of different containers of uh, cat grass to choose from. And I chose this one for a few reasons. So first thing I look at is the color. And I wanna make sure that the cat grass is green and not yellow. Some of the cat grass they had there, like when I went like that, I could see a lot of yellow in it. But with this one, you could see it's like all green. Um, the next thing I looked at um, was the tips of the cat grass. If you look at the tips of this grass, um, they come to like a point and um, that means this grass has not been cut. So that means this is uh, relatively new grass because it's still in its growing phase. When you see the cat grass that has the totally flat top across it, that means the grass has been cut. Um, like I've been doing um, on the previous bunches of cat grass that I bought, like I cut it across the top and that's how I serve it to the cats when I put it in their meals. So the fact that this one has not been cut makes me think that this grass has only really grown this high so far, um, which again would mean that it's a fresher uh, container of cat grass. So what I want to do with this one, I'm actually going to write the date on this container so I get a better idea of how long uh, it lasts. If, if I can make this last for two weeks, I'd be really happy. And here is the Boo Plate Special. I'm going to give this to Boo for breakfast. Hey, Stella, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Hey, Simba, are you hungry? Let's see if Stella and Simba like the new cat grass. They haven't had any in a few days, so. Let's go, come on guys. We're gonna eat. This is what Simba does. Instead of just walking down the steps, he has to like circle sideways and block them. The cats are all eating their food and I pet Splashy for quite a long time today before they ate. I didn't have the camera with me because I had the plate of food in one hand. I was just about to feed them and I was petting Splash with the other hand. And he let me rub the back of his neck for quite some time. And then there was like this point on the top of his head, near the top back of his head. He was going crazy over that. And then like the top of his back, um, yeah, today he uh, did really well. One of the first things that I did with him, I was trying out a new technique um, where I took my hand. I was petting him with like a stiff hand like this because I feel like Splash is afraid that he's going to be grabbed. So if I pet him like this, he'll feel the fingers and he feels like he's going to be grabbed. Whereas if I go like this, if I make like a stiff hand and if I pet him this way, he doesn't feel like he's going to be grabbed. So I think that let me pat him a little bit more today. It is 12 p.m. and I'm outside to feed Hydrox. I'm getting a super late start today. I was relaxing a little bit this morning and um, maybe a raccoon or someone took uh, this little bowl out of here. And then this is like half empty and there's a lot of dirt in it. So that makes me think it's raccoons. Okay, I just put some food in there for Hydrox. It's the Trader Joe's. Um, ocean whitefish dinner and uh, there's fresh water. I don't know where Hydrox is right now. I don't see him around here but it'll be there if he wants it. I just opened up the automatic feeder and it was set to dispense three-eighths of a cup every morning so I just increased that to five-eighths of a cup so it's a little bit more than half a cup. So right now it is 44 degrees out so I just put this thermometer in this greenhouse thing it's already going up. It's at like 54 right now. I'm curious to see how far it rises. So the other thing that I did is I just duct taped this 
thermometer onto the side of this shelter. There was a thermometer on this last year. I think it was the same exact thermometer. And in front of the thermometer, I had the little um, sunroom for the cats, the little plastic solarium. I might move it over this year also. I'm just really curious to see what kind of temperatures this has without it. Um, because this is getting southern exposure, so it does have the sun on it all day, which potentially could help heat it up during the daytime. Right now, this thermometer is approaching 60 degrees. It was like 44 when I put it on here. This is the temperature, 42 degrees. The other thermometer is also 44 degrees. Now this one in the greenhouse thing is already at 74. This is at 74 degrees. This makeshift greenhouse is 74 degrees, but it's 44 outside. Now this makeshift greenhouse is like really crappy because there's no vents, there's no heater. Um, it's just like super cheap and basic. And right now this thermometer on the side of the cat house is also approaching 70 degrees. It's at like 64, 66. But that explains why the cats like hanging out near my house because this patio area stays much warmer than other areas. Stella has been sleeping very comfortably on top of the cat tower. I was wondering where she was. Stella, I love how she walks down this. I love it. And then from there she jumps. So it's much better than the other one that I had where they would just dive off the top of it. Now Stella wants to show us her tummy. Stella, would you like a fluffy tummy rub? Stella's purring. Hello, Stella. She wants to smell my hand. I was feeding Hydrox. Hello, you a good girl? Being a good girl, Stella. Are you? She's purring. Stella likes to be dramatic. Did you see how she made that quick turn? Stella's a drama queen. Not only is Stella a queen, she's a drama queen. Stella, are you a drama queen? Don't scratch. She needs to have her nails clipped again. It was so nice when they were clipped. Stella, we're gonna clip your nails? Can I clip your nails? And there's Splash resting on the ottoman. Now they all have free roam right now. They could be anywhere they want in the house if they wanna hang out down here. Right, Splash? 12.34 p.m. Simba loves laying in the sun by this door. I try to uh, open the inside door for them and just leave the glass door. It is so toasty warm when the sun uh, beats down on this door. He loves it. Right, Simba? It is 2.33 p.m. Stella did not sleep on the bed last night, so... She's sleeping on it now. 
And here's Simba sleeping on the other side of the bed. It is like 4 p.m. right now, and now that the sun is starting to go down, the temperature is going down with it on these thermometers. Um, it's back down to 44 degrees. The greenhouse, although you can't see it, is at 54 degrees, and the garage wall says it's 38 degrees. Here is Hydrox's food bowl from earlier today. All of the food is gone, and there is still water. So there's his food. He's getting about half a can of this Pride by Instinct. Uh, this is Champ's chicken recipe. And I do put some water in the food part because since it is a heated bowl, um, the liquid will evaporate out of that area. It is that time of the week. It is time for mail. This week we have three big boxes. This one is really tough to open. This is a weird box. That's why it's tough to open. It is a scratch and roll. That's awesome. Pet stages, scratch and roll. So this will be the third scratch and roll. So now there's a complete sofa. Um, I guess this one, um, I could put this one downstairs and uh, Simba and Splash can use this. That is really cool, but now I feel like I need to get a fourth one because that way each cat would have their own scratch and roll. Thank you so much for this scratch and roll. There was a note included and the person wanted to remain anonymous, but uh, thank you so much. There's a scratch and roll sofa. It's gonna be one long scratch and roll tunnel underneath there. Then we have this one. I wonder what this is. Wow. Oh my gosh, look. It is a Pet Stages scratch and groom arch. Brush naturally removes excess hair. Flat corrugate surface, perfect for scratching. Brings the indoors outside. I never saw this before. I didn't even know Pet Stages had their own arch. And uh, there's the arch. It is a different size and shape than the two arches Boo has already, so it will be really interesting to see how he likes this. And here's another one, so there's two, two new arches for Boo. I'll see how he likes all four of the arches, and um, if it's too many for him, then I'll, I'll put some downstairs for the other cats. And what do we have here? It's this fragile. It says, Hi Lucky Feral, Stella wanted me to order this for you. Here's the printout of the description about the candle. It's supposed to be toxic free to help keep the air clean from Stella. Also, there are two cat scratchers for your other cats from Lisa McGovern. Well, thank you so much, uh, Lisa. That is awesome. Okay, so I will put those other scratchers um, downstairs. Actually, you know what I might do? I might put one uh, in the living room and then one downstairs so that way there will be an arch scratcher in every room oh wow oh my gosh this is a frankincense and myrrh scented 100 percent beeswax jar candle <gasps> that's gonna smell so good it says it burns clean and smokeless with the warm golden flame cleans the air with negative ions love that very fragrant will fill your home with a lovely incense aroma Scented with fragrance oils infused with natural essential oils. Love that. Wick is 100% lead and zinc-free cotton. Only 100% pure yellow beeswax is used. Love that. Long burn time. Burn time is approximately 40 hours. Made in the USA. Makes a great gift. Frankincense and myrrh scented beeswax jar. Approximately 8 ounces of wax. Wax used is 100% beeswax. No paraffin or soy mix. That is great. I, I really love that. And you know, it's funny because I was just looking at some beeswax candles in a store the other day and um, I didn't buy them um, but I was looking at them so that's so crazy you must have totally read my mind it says um, high quality beeswax sourced from a beekeeper in New York State USA while burning will fill your home with a lovely incense scent long burn time 
approximately 40 hours, environmentally friendly, double ports, you get a solid candle throughout with no air pockets. That's really cool. Then it talks about the Hubbardston Candle Company, located in the small town of Hubbardston, Massachusetts, is dedicated to providing quality beeswax candles in different scents and colors. Our candles are made in small batches and we hand pour the wax just like in American colonial times. Very cool. And here is the candle. Now, if I didn't know this was a candle, I would think this was a jar of the creamed honey. Have you guys seen like like the creamed honey or, or the raw honey? Uh, it says, warning to prevent fire and serious injury, burn candle within sight, keep away from drafts and vibrations, keep out of reach of children and pets, never burn candle on or near anything that can catch fire. Frankincense and myrrh. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It is super fragrant. I feel like I don't even need to burn this. I could just leave it open like this and the room's going to smell great, but I will burn it. So thank you again, Lisa, for the arches and for the candle. That was super nice of you to send those. And here is the last one. It says it is sparkle paper towels, 24 giant rolls. And uh, I hope that's what it is because I'm on my last roll of paper towels right now. And that would be Really convenient if these are paper towels and I don't have to go buy any. Yay, look, it's paper towels. That is so cool. Someone else was very psychic because I need paper towels. These are this is perfect timing. I found the note on the side of the box. It says, hi Lucky, enjoy cleaning up from Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff. And that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing with all these paper towels. Thank you so much, uh, Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff for making my life so much more convenient. Whenever one of those plastic baskets is lying around, Stella will find it and lay in it. Stella loves those baskets. This is the cat's dinner. And although it's been defrosting for about three hours now, it's still really, really cold. I have um, have this new container for defrosting the food. Um, I put them in like a glass tray with a cover and I guess it's keeping them cold longer. So I did put some hot water in there. 6.35 p.m. Boo's laying on the sofa. He wants me to rub his tummy. Maybe not. Maybe he's had enough tummy rubbing. Maybe he just wants to relax. I'm massaging his feet. But he doesn't want me to tell you that. Boo likes hanging out with me wherever I am. So right now I'm sitting here working on my laptop. So Boo has to sit next to me. Right, Boo? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 7.30 a.m. Good morning, Stella. There's their new wheat grass. Wow. Stella just walked away. She snubbed her nose at it. 
But Simba loves it. Good morning, Boo. How are you? Are you being a good boy? Would you like to eat some food? Give me five minutes and I'll give you some food, okay? Five minutes. Boo, that wasn't five minutes. That was like one minute. Okay, so do one minute times five. That means five times as long. Okay. So just chill out. I'll get you your food and I'll let you out of your room. But first you have to chill out. Everyone gets their turn, okay? It's not your turn yet. You have to wait your turn. Who's eating? Are you eating? Splash? Dada? Zumba? And here we have the Boo Plate Special. This is what he's getting for breakfast. Good morning, Boo. Hello, Boo. Did you have a nice sleep? Did you sleep well? You had a new bed to sleep on. Boo has this lovely new day bed to sleep on. He slept on it all night. I checked the security camera a few times. Each time he was sleeping on it, it's softer than the love seat. And um, it's longer than the love seat, so he could spread out if he wants to. He wants me to pet him this morning. So this little day bed is longer than the love seat, but it is more narrow than the love seat. So here on the floor, it frees up a lot of space for Boo to have uh, for playing in the room. This day bed is a folding travel bed. And um, I like the fact that it's lightweight. I like the size of it. It is a small bed. Um, it's not terribly large. I hate furniture that is like super large. One of the reasons why I like uh, furniture, like mid-century modern furniture from the 50s and 60s is because of the scale of it. When I had an apartment in Manhattan, one of the most important things was scale of the furniture because all the apartments in Manhattan are very small so you can't get typical oversized suburban furniture and expect it to fit. The other thing I like about uh, this day bed is that uh, the bottom of it is like one giant cat tunnel. Uh, Boo can go underneath there and hang out and the entire bottom is just like empty for him. It's all free space for him underneath there. So he has even more space uh, to hide under this than he had under the love seat. It is 10 a.m. and it's raining. And it's really cold out. It is about 36 degrees. I just hope it stays above freezing so we don't get snow. And I was just gonna bring Hijox some wet food and put it in the feeder, but I see him, he's sitting there eating dry food. So I am going to let him eat his dry food, not interrupt him, and then check back in a few minutes and see uh, if I could put the wet food out then. 
it looks like maybe he's turning around. Oh yeah, now he's looking in the bowls. Okay, so if he, if he walks away from the table, there he goes. I'm going to put his food out. Hydrox wants some food! Maybe he's going to wait there. See the little dry spot near the door? There's like a little dry area near the door. Okay, I'm going to go out. I'm going to turn the camera off because it is raining. I don't want it to get wet. Okay, so there's the food. I'm giving him this uh, Pride by Instinct. It's the chicken. Um, it's probably two-thirds of a can uh, along with some fresh water. I rinsed out the food bowl. So I just push that under the table. And there's Hydrox. Look, he's walking towards me. Hydrox is walking towards me as I put the food under here. There's still a little bit of food in the bowl, and uh, that's good because I increased the amount of food that that is dispensing. It's now dispensing five-eighths of a cup. Hello, Hydrox. How are you today? I'm really close to him right now. I'm only like four or five feet away, and he's just sitting there like, like he's friendly. So I'm not going to keep him out in the rain. I'm going to go inside. And there he goes. I just came inside. The minute I shut the door, he goes and eats the food. Can you guys see the steam? coming up off of that water. It's only warm water, but that's how cold it is out. Let's hope it doesn't freeze. This is one of the new arches. This is the Pet Stages Scratch and Groom. Dual purpose platform for scratching and grooming. It says scratch for healthy nails, full grooming brushes removable, Brush naturally removes excess hair while providing soothing massage. Flat corrugate surface, perfect for scratching. Sturdy low profile base also provides resting spot. Bring the outdoors inside. So I just put that one together. And here's Boo stretching because he's excited. And today I am going to put both of these together and I'm going to put them in Boo's room. So he'll have four arches. And I'm just really curious to see uh, how he reacts to having four arches. He loves his two arches. What's going to happen when he has four arches? And um, then what I want to do uh, after I put all four in Boo's room is then take these two out and give these to the other cats or maybe leave one in this room and then put one downstairs. All right, Boo. Here are both of the arches put together. I'm gonna to put them in Boo's room. Simba's sleeping on top of the new cat tower. He looks so comfortable. And there's Stella, she's sleeping on top of the ottoman. She's only pretending to sleep right now. Hello, Stella. Being a good girl, Stella? Stella's so fluffy. Look how fluffy she is. Okay, this is the platter from breakfast. I had given them three tablespoons of the dry food before I left earlier, and um, they left some of it, so that's good. It is 5.08 p.m., and Hydrox is outside eating his food. I just put some food out for him. I forgot to bring my camera out, but he was hanging out on the patio, waiting for his food, and then he moved to the other side of the patio when I gave him his food. And then I came back inside and he was um, under the table eating his food. I know it's hard to see because it's so dark. Hello, Boo. 
Hello? How are you, boo? You good? Yeah? Oh, you're gonna scratch the rug? You wanna eat some dinner? Would you like to eat your food? Oh, you want dinner? No food? Dinner? Come on, let's eat. Yeah, over here in your room. You can eat in your room. Do you like your new arches? Who did you rub on your new arches today? What did you do today? Did you sleep? Looks like you slept on your new day bed. Did you sleep on your day bed? That's why you have a day bed, so you could take naps, right? Cat naps. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. Boo slept on the bed all night. He like doesn't even move hardly. He just finds a comfortable spot and stays there. 8 a.m. and Boo is getting his breakfast. Good morning. Hey Splash, how are you? Hello Simba. You looking for your wheatgrass? He's looking right at it. Yep, oh my gosh, look. There you go. Stella is listening for Boo, but he's not making any noise right now. It is 9.30 a.m. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food and this is where he's hanging out, next to the house. He's pretty much right underneath Boo's window. So Hydrox is like next to this solarium, this sunroom thing. You know, if he went in there uh, during the day, he'd probably stay warm. So he can be outside and stay warmer and look around and um, stuff like that. I haven't seen him inside of this yet, but he's really close to it, so maybe soon. There are doors on each side of it. And here's what the kitty cafe looks like from last night. All the food's been eaten and the water's dirty. That means the raccoons had a nice warm bath for their paws. So there's Hydrox's food. That is the uh, Pride by Instinct uh, chicken. And then here's his clean water. Everything's nice and warm. Hydrox moved over to these gray mats while I was giving him the food, so he was like watching me. Which is a good sign because it means he actually moved closer to me. Instead of moving farther away from me, he moved closer to me. Go eat, Hydrox. Right now it's probably like 36 degrees out. It is 3.03 p.m. I'm in my office and I just called um, one of the animal hospitals that handle uh, the local TNRs. And I spoke to two people there. Neither person could give me any information because they say there's no way for them to search their database. They don't really even have a database. They keep track of the cats by number. They told me there's no way to search by date or by color of the cat or by any other information. So I told them that the cat would have been brought in between uh, July 18th and the 26th, let's just give it a week. And um, 
So they should be able to pull that information up in their database, see what cats were brought in during the, that time frame. They should then be able to filter that by cat color. So they should be able to pull up all the cats that came in between July 18th and the 26th. They then should be able to say, okay, I want all the black cats that came in during that time. And they should be able to go down that list and see uh, which cats came in on what days and what was done to those cats. The fact that that type of database does not exist means there are serious, serious issues with uh, this vet's office as well as um, the shelter system as well as the local TNR system. Nobody is keeping proper data on these cats. So I just wanted to document this right now because uh, the person I spoke to gave me absolutely no information. Both of the people that I spoke to gave me absolutely no information. They really couldn't care less. Um, you know, all they wanted me to do is feel sorry that they're dealing with, you know, 20 cats a day that are being brought in uh, for a TNR. But that's not going to happen. I'm not going to feel sorry for people that are working in a system that needs serious fixing. And if anyone is offended by what I'm saying right now, Oh well, the system needs serious fixing. If the system was seriously fixed, then we'd be able to place a lot more of these cats into a lot more homes. It is almost 5 p.m. and this is what the kitty cafe looks like. All the food is gone. It looks like some of the water has been drank. I'm gonna refill. And there's Hydrox, can you see him? He's sitting on the patio chair. He's just hanging out. It is 5.02 p.m. Boo is on free roam right now. Boo, what's the matter? You're not gonna eat your dinner? No, why? Why are you not eating? What's the matter, boo? Did you have a nice day, boo? What did you do today, boo? Huh? What did you do today, anything fun? No, not really? You just hung out? It is 9.36 p.m. and I'm about to put Boo to bed in his room. He's sleeping in his room tonight because he has spent the last two nights not sleeping in his room. And um, I just put some Lucky Ferals videos on for him so he could watch the cats. Hopefully it won't agitate him. Uh, so when he's in his room, I don't put on any like bird videos or squirrel videos or any of those videos for cats to watch because those agitate him like he wants to hunt and the room's too small for him to be agitated. So I'm putting on these videos. So he's going to be watching himself. Now I don't know if that's going to be too weird for him or what. But um, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Right now he's just sitting here waiting for some dry food. Today, the Lucky Ferals website, which is located at luckyferals.com, was brought up to date by Lucas A., who did an absolutely amazing job um, with updating it with all of the new videos. Um, I don't know how he did it so fast. It was like one minute I email him with instructions on um, what I need, and then the next minute I blink and all of the new videos are on the website. It was like amazing. So um, I'm giving him a shout out, shout out to Lucas I, and a huge giant thank you uh, for helping uh, get the website up to date. And again, if you haven't been on the website, go to luckyferrels.com. It has all of the Lucky Ferals videos.
Okay, so it's like about 10 p.m. and uh, Boo's been sticking his paws under the door. So I'm thinking I'll just take this toy that he likes and, um, well, there he goes. He grabbed it. Give him something to play with. That should keep him busy. Now the other cats have free roam of the house, but they stay downstairs. I think they don't like Boo. Oh, he just got that inside. 10, 17 p.m. The cats are on free roam, and Stella wants to sit in her basket under the cat tower. She'd rather sit here than wander around the house. So I guess this is one of her new favorite spots. Simba is hanging out on the ottoman. I find it so funny that wherever I move this ottoman, the cats lay on it. So they love this piece of furniture more than they love where it is, which is really interesting. And there's Splash. Hey, Splash, what are you doing? Hello, Stella. You laying under the cat tower? You like it under here? You like your basket? You good girl, Stella? You're not coming upstairs? You don't want to go upstairs or did you want to smell my hand? What do you smell? Pumpkin cookies? I just eat a uh, homemade pumpkin chocolate chip cookie. Here's Simba. He heard the word cookie. Who wants treats? You want some treats? You guys want treats? Stella's ready for her treats. She's on her scratch and roll in anticipation. And there's Simba. Simba, you ready for your treats? Simba, you want a cookie? Where's your cookie? Treats? Cookies? Cookie treats? Cookie treats? One for you, Stella. Yeah, that's for you. One for Simba. And here comes Splash. Splashy! One for Splash. Eat your treat. One for Stella. One for Simba. And one for Splash. See, Splash is now coming out for treats. There's the mini trampoline, and there's Splash. Here. Here. Eat it. Here, Stella, Simba, Splash. This is like the third day I'm giving them treats out of this treat container. Um, these are the Bench and Fields Holistic Natural Feline Treats. And the treats are fairly large and this is a kind of small container. So I'm happy I have a few more of these. Okay, Stella, last one. One for you. One for you. And look where Splash went. Splash, you were doing so good. You want one? Here. I threw my treat in there. I'll give him another one. There. Done. No more. That's it. That's it. It's like a little circus tent under there. Okay, time for bed. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Stella. 
Stella slept on the bed for part of the night. But I had to go downstairs and get her at like 3 o'clock in the morning. She was sleeping in her little uh, plastic bed under the cat tree. Hey, Simba. Simba's like, me too, pet, me too. I gave it some water and I put it in the sink overnight so it could drain. So today is the first day that I'm seeing these crystals on top of the patio table, which I'm not happy about because I have not had my sprinklers shut off for the season yet. That's not happening for another five days. That was the earliest appointment I could get. And um, if, if we get too much freezing weather before then, the sprinklers can burst. So, um, keeping my fingers crossed that does not happen. Out of all the cats, Simba loves the greens the best. Good morning, Boo. This is so weird. So I just walked into Boo's room and uh, I see his room on the TV and I'm like, what the heck? Is this like a camera set up in here? And then I remembered that I left the Lucky Ferrell's YouTube channel on. And I guess because I'm logged in as the Lucky Ferrell's account, it is playing uh, one of the live streams from uh, the other day. So that's weird. So Boo's like in his room but he's watching his room on TV. Good morning, Boo. He loves his arches. It's nice for him to have the two different size arches also because he uses them in different ways, right? Are you hungry? Are you hungry today, Boo? Yeah, well, good boy. Boo reminds me of a puppy a lot. My sister has a dog with the same exact color fur. And it's a very small dog. It's probably smaller than Boo. So sometimes he reminds me of the dog. Boo's purring. Boo's having his typical breakfast, the Boo Plate Special, the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites, some cat grass, and his herbs, and water. Come on, Boo. We're gonna eat. 10, 17 a.m. Boo's on free roam. This is what he wants to do. He wants to sit in the living room by his arches. These are the two arches that I took out of his room last night. Boo, do you love your arches? Do you love your arches, Boo? Boo, Boo. Yeah? You do? You love your arches. I think he wants a belly rub. Sometimes he doesn't like the camera. I think Boo was saying thank you for his arches. Right, Boo? You say, I love my arches. You say, thank you for the arches. Say, thank you. 
So thank you for the arches. Boo, say thank you for the arches. Boo loves his arch. You love your arch, Boo? You love your arch? Oh, silly boy, boo. You don't grab me. Boo's sitting in his little arch. He's under both arches right now. He just pulled that other arch closer to him. Let's see what happens. Oh, he got scared. But the arches, they're both as close as they go. I thought I could push this arch closer to him. I don't know why they like this wiggly toy so much, but they love this toy. This is a Dollar Tree toy. Probably around 10.30 right now. I don't really know what time it is. Right now it is about 40 degrees out. This is the Kitty Cafe. Um, there's no food in it and the water's fairly clean, which makes me think there were no raccoons. So I am going to put Hydrox's food in here. Today he's getting a small can of the Shiba turkey pate and uh, his herbs and some water and water. And what I've uh, started doing is now when I empty out the water bowl or when I rinse them out I do that somewhere else so I don't leave a whole bunch of water around here um, I don't want to leave a bunch of cold wet water that can freeze or just that Hydrox has to navigate uh, around or step in there's absolutely no food in the feeder so that makes me think Hydrox ate it all 11 15 a.m. Stella was hanging out on top of the cat tower every time I go to take a video of her on top of the cat tower she has to move Right, Stella? It's like she doesn't want to be seen up there. I don't know what's going on with her. And here's Simba. I just gave them some dry food because I'm about to head out for the day. Okay, the cats are getting their typical dinner. It's the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets with the Nature's Variety Instinct Chicken Bites. And they're not getting anything else with that today. That's just what they're getting. And here's the cats. Splash is going back and forth between Stella and Simba. He always does that. You guys want to eat some food? Who's eating? Hmm? Okay, guys, who's eating? Who's eating? Who are you eating? It is 7.28 p.m. Stella's just hanging out there watching me. 
She's been in a really good mood since she ate that piece of chicken. Food makes Stella happy, right Stella? You like food? You like to try different types of food? Stella, you a happy girl? She likes to sit near the food bowl. Want some dry? Dry food? Oh, look, she's being gentle. She's being nice. Probably because my hand smells like chicken. Because I gave her the chicken. Okay, 7.40 p.m. So I'm working on my computer and at the same time I'm playing with Stella because I feel like she hasn't gotten enough playtime lately. Um, she hasn't been upstairs much to play. So I'm downstairs with her. She's on the scratch and roll that is downstairs. And I have this like IKEA bed here. And then I have this like wiggly worm toy. Like she loves this toy. So what I've been doing is putting it under the bed. And then um, she goes crazy for that. And then I've just been kind of like playing with her up here. So with my left hand, I'm playing with Stella. And with my right hand, I'm working on my computer. I mean, talk about multitasking, right? Okay, here's Stella on the cat tree. She just jumped up. So here's how she does it. She starts out on this trampoline. She then jumps up to here. Then she goes up to here. Then she goes up here. See where she is now? Let's see where she goes. Where are you gonna go, Stella? Top one, left one, or right one? What do you guys think? What is she gonna do? Which one is she gonna pick? Oh, she's gonna play with the toy. Is she gonna jump onto the trampoline? What is she gonna do? She hears Boo upstairs. Stella is a vicious hunter. Right, Stella? You're a vicious hunter? Is she gonna go after it or she's just gonna sleep there? What's she doing? Are you looking at the wheel? She's looking at the wheel. You want me to move the wheel? Yeah. She's watching me move the wheel. watching the toys on the wheel. You gonna run on the wheel, Stella? Are you gonna run on it? No? You don't wanna run on the wheel? Stella's laying on the cat tower. Stella. She's laying on the, the toy. It's attached, it matches her fur. See? Stella, are you posing? Are you posing with the mouse? Your model? Mouse is upside down. Here. Now the mouse is right side up. Pose again. Look at me and pose. Smile. Smile! Hello, Stella. That lighting is not very flattering for you at all. Not flattering, I know. I'm sorry. At least it's not fluorescent. That's the worst lighting ever. Pinch your cheeks. Pinch your cheeks. Pinch your cheeks. Oh! <gasps>
not supposed to bite the hand that feeds you. You got it. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. Gonna bite it? Stella says, I'm not gonna bite it, I'll just smack it. <gasps> what are you doing, Stella? It is 9.05 p.m. Simba, Stella, and Splash are on free roam. Now, Stella's downstairs, but Simba and Splash are upstairs. And I wanna get them to go downstairs so Boo can be on free roam, because it's his night to be on free roam. And look what I found. I just found this. This is like the mouse portion of Boo's undercover mouse, except it has been detached from the undercover mouse thing. And I don't know if you guys could see it, but this end is all chewed up. And uh, this end here is all chewed up. And look who's next to it, the cat that likes to chew things. The cat that loves chew toys. Simba. You chewed the mouse? You chewed this mouse? Did you chew the mouse? I'm pretty sure Simba was the one that chewed this mouse. Because that would be something that he would do. Yep, see, look. Look. He's chewing it. Guilty. Guilty. Who's guilty? Simba, you have a chew toy. Where's your chew toy? See, the problem is that all of their chewable toys I've put in a bucket and I don't really take them out and put them away as much as I should. They've just been kind of away in the bucket. So the only chew toys that Simba really has are the ones that are downstairs. So I should find that chew toy that he really likes, that orange worm, and put that downstairs so he could chew it down there. Okay, Splash is a very smart boy because he just came downstairs for treats. I went upstairs and I said, hey guys, we're eating treats. I came downstairs and I was saying, hey guys, we're eating treats. He heard me, he came to the door. And then I, um, I shook the little uh, container of treats and he came down the stairs and I threw a treat at him and he just ate it. He'll come over here. Want treat, Stella? There's your treat. Want treat, Simba? There's your treat. Eat your treat, Splash. Someone's going to eat it if you don't eat it. Good boy. Good boy, Splash. Eat your treat. Mission accomplished. If I could keep all three of these cats down here, then I could let Boo out. And that's it. We're at the end of this container of treats. They enjoyed this. Sorry, guys. No more. No more treats. Container's empty.